All right. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the Cheese League October 2022. Uh, my name is Kaiser. I'm here to bring you another high quality stream for the month. Um, it's the classic Melee Monthly here in Adelaide. We do these offline every month, third Sunday. Come on down, check us out uh, on the internet by going visiting Couch Warriors SA everywhere. E anywhere you can find us, really. Um, very soon, we're going to be starting the bracket. Uh, it's a quaint one today, actually. It's a little, it's a teeny tiny quaint event for us. Uh, we appreciate everyone who's come through, and it should hopefully be a pretty good time today. Um, we got myself, we got McLeod, Coffee Rex is here, Caleb's here, Stores is here, Catherine, and Lemons. So, judging by the numbers, it's like seven of us. I imagine we'll be doing a bracket and not a round robin, but we will see. Um, we'll talk to Connor, who is currently on the laptop on your screen right now. Um, so we'll be getting started very soon. Stay tuned, everyone. Make sure to follow us everywhere you can. Hit us up on the socials. You know where to go. Follow my Twitter, at KP Kaiser. And we'll get the tournament started very soon. All right, one second, folks. Folks, it's going to be a normal bracket today.
All right, yep, folks, we're going to get the tournament started now. Um, we are doing all best of five today. So I'm just going to quickly update the bracket for you. So let me get this up. All right, here's the bracket. Okay, so we have Caleb and Coffee Rex um, going to be on stream first. We've got me and Stores playing off stream, and Catherine and Lemons are also playing off stream now. So I'm just going to quickly post the bracket in chat for you. Yeah, we, you know we do. You know how we do here. So that should work now. Yes, there we go. All right, let's set up the stream here. Let's set these people up. Um, because we're going to get Coffee Rex and Caleb. What's Caleb's Twitter? I know he has one. It's just SSBM Caleb, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. See, Falcon, there's Caleb. Oh my god, folks. Everyone's getting a little excited today. A little bit excited. Puffy dress like Keanu Reeves. Okay, well, I guess I should play my match with stores now. Oh, I just realized the capture card is fucked up. Oh no, these headsets are also a bit loosey goosey. Hold up. Okay, hopefully that doesn't drop out again. Um, all right. I'm all good, guys. Because uh, if it does, I'll be a bit sad, hey? All right, I, I don't want to be sad. Okay, Caleb Coffee Rex coming at you. Yep, your presence is sorely missed, Jeff. I hope you get your work done, though. That's more important. Okay. 
We're about to get it started, folks. This is going to be hype. I'm excited. All right, so Caleb Coffee Rex coming at you. Um, yeah, I guess in order for the bracket to not get held up, I should also play my game now. Um, <laughs> but I also kind of have to be here and run the stream a bit. So I might just run it. Oh my god, this cable is fucked up. Hang on. All right, anyway. Yeah, I might just stay on stream and have a chat with you while this first game happens. Oh, and they've changed ports, the silly gooses. There they go. Okay. So game one. Already, Caleb throwing it away. <laughs> giving it to Coffee Rex for free. Just does not care. Um, Caleb also recently acquiring a fob. So we should hopefully see some, some cutesy gameplay. Yeah, he is fobbed up today, hopefully. Hopefully he games his little heart out. That's what I want to see. That is fixing a few issues with it. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I know I've been having a bit of issues with my fob as well. I have to recalibrate it because right now it's kind of um, it's a bit sussy. We'll say that much. Like, basically, what's kind of happening is um, yeah, I need to. I need to goddamn get my ledge dashes and my snapback sorted, essentially. And also update the firmware, because I think there's a new firmware out. Um, yeah, Coffee, just so in control of this first game. I think when you start out the game with like 10 seconds in and just like throwing a suck away, it's kind of hard to bring it back from that. Oh, good dash dance. Just waits out the Raptor boost. Well done. So this is really kind of a battle of, um, of who's more patient. Who's going to play neutral the longest? Um, at the moment, you're not really seeing too much platform stuff. Oh, ooh, that is such a crucial kill for Caleb to get. He's brought it back to just a one stock difference. Um, and this is a pretty healthy stock, so Coffee's going to take some initiative and use some lasers there. That was a huge knee. All right, he's caught him in the corner. Rolls out, though, doing well for himself. Coffee works, just riding the airplane. Destination, winner semis. Oh, gets the read, and a knee, and two knees! Caleb! He's fobbed up. He's fobbed out of his mind right now. Okay, that was a sick nerf from Coffee Rex, actually. It's looking really good for him right now. Just needs to clean up this edge guard, but he actually drops it. Caleb also getting very greedy coming back to stage there with the aerials, but this looks like it might be it. Yeah, not too bad from Caleb. He actually brought it back to one stock difference there, so that wasn't too bad. But... Got a little bit of work to do now. A little bit of work to do. I'm going to put the microphone so you can kind of hear some background of the venue and just like aim it at the other gamers in the room. That's my plan. All right, game two. Back to Battlefield. And Coffee Rex game up. Looking good for him. I mean, it's interesting because it's like, you know, they're not really going to change their kind of stage picks at all in this game. I feel like, at least. It's my onion. Yeah, Coffee Rex just got good, like, neutral habits, I feel. But, I mean, you know, say what you will. Uh, but I, f I feel like it's a little bit easier to play footsie's base when you're on a digital controller, if you're used to it, you know? <laughs> this will decide if Fob or Box is better. Yeah, exactly. Well, I had to play a tiebreaker with um, Coffee Rex at the last EVAC tournament that I came to. Because he actually beat me in the in the round robin. And then we all had a three-way tie and then I, I, I two-owed him. <laughs> so, he beat me in the in the round robin and then I beat him in the tiebreaker. So, Fob and Box currently even right now. Alright, Catherine and Lemons. A result has occurred. I might even be able to report that one. Do 
Did y'all finish your set? Yep. Catherine, 3 0 over Lemons. Uh, I had to set up some stream stuff. It, it, it was like the capture card froze and stuff. It was really bad. <laughs> yeah. All right. So far, though, Caleb, I mean, not doing that much better this game, to be honest. Um, so what we might do is after this set, we'll run McLeod and the winner of this on stream. And then I will play my set off stream. So that way we maybe have someone who can man the stream for a little bit. I mean, maybe I'll just get, uh, maybe I'll get those two to like sit here for me. Maybe, maybe we do that. All right, Caleb, bringing it back. Good knees. He's doing it. Really love to see this. Oh, two stomps. Oh, he actually had the read there, but he just dashed the other direction. <laughs> oh, great grab. Another good read. Yeah, Kaifu Rex just choosing to take in uh, most of the time, but he doesn't that time. All right, it's got to be careful now. Coffee Rex stuck in the corner. Caleb walling him out. Great grab. Calls out the dash up, uh, the dash up shield, which is pretty good for Fox in a lot of cases. But um, when you get grabbed like that, it's not good for you at all. This is um, super even, super super even right now. I, I like Caleb's chances of of getting on the board this game. Actually, he just needs to he needs to play like a good player. Oh, there you go. Okay, doesn't tech in that time. Just needs to get out of this dicey situation, but he's used his double jump, and that's going to be it. Really rough to take a weak back air in center um, and just die for it because you double jump trying to do some, you know, trying to out neutral the other person. Coffee Rex just pretty much every single time going to ledge off this Firefox. Oh my god, Caleb reaching with these overshoot up airs. Okay, there's a dash attack. The tackle, the Urian tackle. Lemons, do you know what the name of Urian's tackle is called? Yeah. Tyrant Slaughter. Chariot tackle? That sounds right. Okay. Because I, I love watching Falcon do dash attack and just calling it like the Urian tackle. It, it's exactly the same. And like Samus as well. Oh, Caleb though. It's looking grim. Just getting juggled. Thank you. All right, and that is 2-0 to Coffee Rex. It was looking good for Caleb there, though. Not too bad. Two. Oh, God. 2-0 Coffee Rex. What am I doing? Oh, my God. It is, in fact, not Kaiser. It is now a cloud. And cut McLeod W. Ow. Testing one, two, three. There we go. Oh, we have a lemons on commentary as well. Is the sliders all good for this for this to work? I think we're okay now. Oh, it works a bit crackly, okay. but I think we're good. So game three, Caleb in a bit of a hole mm -hmm. down this stock two. Oh my oh, god. Steals it. That could be the turning moment the of momentum, the entire set. The momentum shifter. Because you know, Coffee wants this. Coffee yeah. not happy about losing to Caleb. But, uh, Definitely. Who wonder. would be happy about that? I feel like Caleb, like losing to Caleb, is the most miserable experience. For, like everyone. Yeah, I've not enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> and beating Caleb, you feel like almost nothing. Yeah. Or uh, well, Caleb's just like. It depends. <laughs> depends on that scenario and how it happens. That's true, Sometimes that's true. you feel awkward. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> you know. <laughs> anyway, coffee, coffee keeping it competitive, not letting that slip get to him. Ooh, smacked in the face, though. I feel like Caleb Gaming is like, normally you have like, the most, the least percentage of happiness, like, suck, like the most percentage of happiness total sucked out between both players. Damn. It's very impressive. Caleb video games. But you know what? Sometimes he gets the job done. Yeah. Like he did oh, on yeah. Wednesday. This but time, Coffee adapting. He's deciding, yeah, I'm gonna, just going to call out that you're going to go to the ledge. Ooh, that wow, was nasty, actually. Uh, that's some Caleb gaming, but it you know, keeps it safe, I guess. It's not too bad. Gets a grab. Oh. Not reacting fast enough. He's going for the safe option. Coffee the reacting to something else oh. than what he's seen. That was a good grab. 
but covers the wrong thing. Honestly, in that, at that percent, I wouldn't even bother going for the up air. I just need one of the techs. Because the, the up air probably won't kill because you're Caleb, but the knee definitely will. Oh, oh good idea. Genuinely yeah. good idea, but might die for it. Doesn't die for it. Yeah. Catherine loves to see an up yeah, hug. True. I think Caleb could win this, but it's looking a yeah. little shaky. Like he's not quite converting what he would need to. But oh. he doesn't die for that. That's pretty big. People talk about Falcon like comebacks, but honestly, I think like when I watch Falcon, Falcon's down, it feels like one of the most done deals just because of as soon as Falcon gets to a certain percent, he just like flies off the stage with every hit and he's not very good at coming back. Oh, well, he can try. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the last three times Caleb stripped it back and Coffee's, uh, well, he's lost two times, he's been ready for it. Yeah. Oh, Let's huh. See if Caleb can maybe switch it up that a little bit. Back here out of shield, very greedy, but not punished by Caleb. Oh, that was a good face now, actually. Hold on. Yeah. Ooh, that too. Wow. Yeah. Doesn't get anything out of it, though. It's a big mm. problem. Yeah, he gets a Ooh, the kick. it was really nice. That was the mistake. Oh, yeah, really yeah, this good time he's doing Let's it. Let's go. The Let's 69. Oh, he's lost the power. Wait, wait a but. minute. Oh, Watching Wizard all day doesn't channel that. No. Four days? Going for four days. I'm not sure oh, what they're, no. uh, they're for. He's meaning to do that, or if there's some player behind him, but could be a sign of nerves. Gets the grab. Does he go for the grab? Has to. I, fe I feel like at this point. Right. Oh, nice. I actually, guess. I like, I like the second guess a lot. Not bad. Doesn't pan out. It's a pretty safe roll. Oh. Ooh, oh, that's a really bad good. trade. Oh. That's it. Three o two coffee racks. I think it was three o to Caleb on Monday. Oh, Wednesday as well. Damn. So, you know. Trading it back and forth. I will have coffee racks now. I guess we can do that on stream. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Oh, I lost round one. But I'm still in loser's side, as it turns out, because we have those things. Still some hope of taking the whole thing. Still some life in a ligament. True. All right, I need to change these uh, names here. Uh, to... Cloud, I guess, probably. Well, I believe we're going to have McLeod v. Coffee Rex on the big screen. Uh, so I just want to do this. If we just had Coffee Rex v. Caleb on the big screen. Uh, McLeod, uh, definitely the favorite to take the, uh, take the tournament. But... See what Coffee can do. Noted Peach Slayer, if you look at his Twitter bio. So, you know, both uh, box gamers. Yeah, both box gamers. Well, what do you think about this? About what? About box? this match, this upcoming match. I hate, I hate McCloud's name. Yeah? So I'm uh, going for Coffee Rex. Okay. What do, you, what do you not like about the name? It's a lame name. Hate Fox. He doesn't even play Fox though. That makes it worse, not better. He's actually he's played a number he's of characters Peach. over his career. He's never played Fox. Why? I don't know. Why? It's not even why his real name his or thing? anything. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. Maybe he's a Star Fox fan. I don't know. Does that make it worse or better? I don't know. I think it's alright. I mean, it's no lemons, but. Cop. It's no lemons. It's fine. All right, doing that hand warmery stuff. Oh, that's what they did. I just thought yeah. it wasn't very good. No. Well, look, look we, we're a weak state, but that's what we can <laughs> <laughs> It's mostly, mostly we can say stash. Sometimes. All right, trying to practice his peach ledge dashes. I don't know if you're familiar with the all the advanced tech. I'm not familiar with the basic tech layer. I okay. think you press L sometimes and you go past. That's what it True. True. Well, there's this thing called ledge dashing, which is really good, but... Only certain characters can really pull it off, like Fox has got a great ledge dash. Okay. Uh, it's basically, when you grab the ledge, you get some invincibility, and you just kind of like slide on stage and get like get like, so like a certain number of frames that are actually invincible, but you can do stuff. Oh, it sounds... So it's really good. Unfair. It's pretty, yeah, pretty unfair, because it turns the ledge into like a strength. If you can do it, it's just, if you mess up, you're gonna die. Uh, Peach is notably a character that has bad ledge options, but, recently or semi-recently or at some point in history it was discovered that she could do it in theory like she had a setup to do it 
but it was like, you know, not considered humanly possible. Oh. But recently, Mr. McLeod here has been trying to prove that wrong and has been able to do it in some way. Uh, but yet, and yet he cannot. This is Mr. Edgeguard. Oh, nice. uh, he needs it. He doesn't need to be on the ledge. Yeah, he doesn't need it. He simply doesn't go off the ledge. Yeah. It's like you, you have to, um, you have to grab the ledge in a specific way. You have to up B to it with the parasol. If you grab it other ways, it doesn't work. So there's a thing called Do you think, you know, having a manually changed controller might be advantageous in that situation? Uh, it is, because you need, like to hit, bad to me. you need to hit a specific angle for it to work. But you can reliably hit that angle on other controllers too. <laughs> because it's possible on another controller. <laughs> uh, it's, it's... If you do it in the right way, there's oh, enough of a, there's it. enough of a window of angles that it's you, it's not that bad. Okay. You could especially if you notch it, it'd be fine. Like the controller I have uh, is also a box controller, but it doesn't let you set the angles manually, and the angle that you need is not on there. Oh, yeah. But if you do it like in the right way, it expands the, the length of the angle will work for it. Okay. So it's you know, even even that controller, which is like you know, so I think it, you can't really ban it. I don't think. Because, you know, every controller can do it. And, like, you don't. If you put the practice in. No, I just think we should ban the controllers. Yeah. I don't have anything against them. I don't play the game, obviously. But, uh, right. I just think they kind of look ugly. That's not the reason. Really? I don't know. I kind of like the look of them more. Or I certainly the feel of them much more. Well, uh, Coffee Rexes, black and black, I'm down. Okay, so. Mr. Okay. McCloud, he's going like. Okay, we'll ban him on the color scheme. That's bannable, I think. Yeah, I think it's you're bannable. right. Yeah, color scheme. And that's easily enforceable as well. Got to be dark mode. Yeah. And you know, if he doesn't let me, just get a coat of paint and uh, look out. That's <laughs> right. Ooh, the double hit. I don't know if he's gonna make it back from this. He is not. Pretty good at edge guarding this this fellow. Certainly a thing all the young Peach, Peach players could learn. I think that's good. What we should do is we'd have you can have your box controllers, or you have a, a bot in every available place. For every available what? Like every angle. available place. Yeah. So yeah. we don't tell you what the buttons do. You have to figure out the of the match. Oh, so you, you'd have to have a randomizer. <laughs> That's right. Each match. Okay. Yeah, you just well. randomize it at the side of the tournament <laughs> as you walk your way through. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Well, it depends how extreme you go. Could maybe work. Alright. That's pretty you good. Know. Pretty competitive. Yeah, not, not bad actually. Not a bad, not a bad competitive match. Tell me about the matchup. Uh, You're a peach player these days? Yeah, I am currently. So I would say, historically, conventional wisdom would be that Fox is favoured. Uh, I mean, if you look at what's happening right now, he's doing. It's pretty hard for, for Peach to like approach, and he's really fast and can shoot the gun, uh, and he's also just good. Um, he's got strong ways of killing out too. Yeah, so I'm just like, up smash. That, that stage is really high, like, hitbox at the top. Right? Yeah, this stage is, is good It's good for the matchup for Fox because it's both, like, lengthways, there's plenty of room for him to run around, yeah. and also the, the ceiling relative to other stages is not that high, so you kill at the top, which Fox is good at uh, earlier. Both up throw up air and up smash, pretty good. But, you know, McLeod, I think, still favoured even on this stage. Sure. This is, of course, this box is kind of big, so yeah. you'd hope to be favorable. Yeah, you would hope so, as a fox player. As a beach player, you might say, fuck this character, it's not the stage. But, you know. Or, you know, if you're playing Peach, there's a little bad to come to you. I suppose. Are you say Peach? Uh, she is, like, so she's not that good at approaching, just because she's kind of fast. But she is pretty scary close up. Yeah, just press the uh, down on the she's uh, got C the, stick. Oh, she's wait. got that move. Frame five, really fast, hard, you know, basically safe on shield. Uh, and you know, sometimes even just shield poke if they got low shield. Um, you know, you can blow up crouch cancel, which is pretty important because their other moves aren't that good at beating crouch cancel. Up your X up, please, Mother. Yeah, no, he's generally doesn't like losing the beach. Um, and she's got, like she's <laughs> also got some some tech that other characters don't have uh, with a float, so she can float cancel moves. Uh, so she can do areas really low to the ground and also with very little lag. So she can actually like only the only character who can actually have plus on block like moves more or less. Because like even Fox when he does his Nash Shine or Falco when they do their aerial to shine, 
they're actually like slightly negative, even like in the better, the best cases. Like, it's just that shine is so fast. Because yeah, so it beats all the options that the other person could do on defense. Uh, whereas Peach can actually be like plus four, which means if you then do the if you do it well enough, you can go straight to down smash and like there's a frame like it's like one frame afterwards and there's no possible way they can interrupt it. And also if they're like low enough shield, it's like a guarantee sort of thing. Like even if they try and spot dodge or something, that's spot dodge is only invincible in frame two. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty so tight. Yeah. It's like, it's yeah. Like so that's kind of neat. Oh, what's up? Uh, but you know, and that's like best case is plus yeah. four, I'm pretty sure. Whereas I think Fox best case in there is like zero on block or something. Like Darko, I think is the same. It's something like that. Is it not All right. Buffy though, he's winning on this dude, which is pretty good. <laughs> he's still winning by 14%. Well, he's got the invincibility, which he did hopefully descend with. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh, Looking pretty bad. Good. Knocked oh, down all the juggles. Yeah. Uh, that stack goes unpunished. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I. He does like to go for those repeated shines like that, but I don't know if he should go for so many. Especially against uh, someone like McLeod, where he's going to be looking to STI it. Yeah. And then you can get, if you get counter hit there with down smash, it's like so bad, right? Because you're holding down to do the yeah, wave shines, and then you get down. hit like three or four times. And you know. Whoa. Ow. Whoa. Uh, anyway. Man, what a forward hit. Yeah, he's going for it anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, if it works, it's good. Best of luck to the person there. Wow. Anyway. Whoa, what are you doing? Nothing. You're ruining the stream for everyone. It must be, I'm not doing nothing. Ooh. What attack? Uh, he goes, goes for the ledge dash there. Luckily, the thing about Peach's ledge dash is even though it's uh, really, really hard, if you mess it up, the angle is such that you don't die. The other characters, you will die. So, you know, swings and roundabouts is a benefit. Uh, Alright. Coffee. Oh my god. Damn, that looked pretty brutal. It is cool to see a beach that's like, uh,. Really trying to push the, uh, the technical side of the character, and for a long time, a lot of peaches, they're not trying to do that so much, or at least not to the same level. Anyway. All right, he gets the last dash there actually. All right, here's the dash take again, not punished. I guess coffee is both. I mean, it's a tournament set, so you know, understandable. Also, he's maybe perhaps not expecting the dash attack from someone like the card, but work it out. Alright. Doesn't lose too much from the invincibility. Gets a grab, that's pretty big. Gets out, gets up pretty easy. It's another grab. Ooh. Just kind of a nice situation there. I wonder what he could have done to better abuse that. But that slide off worked out a couple of sort of. You can get some cheap stuff with slide offs as the aggressor, but also I also get it as a defender sometimes. Alright, get support on the platform. Oh, you don't want to see that crisp punish, but. Damn, well, that punch there was actually kind of nice. Crash with Manair, and he, I think he recognized it and tried to do a down smash, but he messed up and uh, didn't really show fast enough. God, spot dodge. Uh. Alright. Up smash, seal in the deal. I think Coffee's in this situation very similar to last game, but uh, of course, oh, I did not get this to us. It's actually 2 0 currently from McLeod. For anyone just joining us. Uh, looking to clear up, we get a swift 3 0 against the mask. It's actually 2 0 from Cloud. Uh, this is like second time on the set moment. Alright. Ideally, he really wants to get something started, and that. Yeah, it didn't, wasn't so bad. Could have gone much worse, I think. 
so he did lose his health. Alright. Another grab. Without moving space and just just right it seems. Alright, without trying to sort of push him towards the edge. Force him to approach. Side B up here, there we go, the classic fox maneuver. Sometimes you get hits like those and you convert and you, you win. Gotta take what you get. Alright, what's gonna be the pick? FD maybe? Yep, there we go. Strong punish on this stage. Of course, you get the chain grabs and fox, uh, you know, any grab becomes pretty lethal. Yeah, I think the very, like, very early descents, you have to do down smash or something and the can maybe get out. But anything beyond a couple little bits, it's like, you know, grab to 100 or something percent off stage. Pretty easily, so. But, you know, Fox can do work on this stage too. Alright, going for the ledge dash. Messes it up, gets the air dash. Alright. Nice. Classic maneuver with Peach, uh, with any character really, it's just fiend out the, uh, the roll posture like you're gonna go in. Oh, wow, that was kinda good. Gonna need the weak dash tags. Okay. Man, powerful jab. Nice reaction with the, uh, the getup. Certainly something in McLeod is pretty cool. Good about. Really trying to optimize his punish game. Oh, no punish in that. Again, wanted to try and you know probably float out of it. Do some aerial into down smash or grab. Yeah, tough. Up smash. Kind of outranges uh, Peach's moves a little bit there. Except like for that, really. But even that, really. Oh, no reaction on the on the net. doesn't quite hit the reaction there, gets punished. It, though not too bad for any for all, thankfully for all the copyrights fans out there. Yeah. Going to whiff punish easy. Okay, there we go. Goes for it. It's not bad because you know he's still invincible. It's a guess where uh, I think he probably still would have been invincible enough that he wouldn't really get punished for it. Uh oh that's a big big hit. Okay. Huge grab. What can McCall get off this? Can he Get a stock. Or just huge damage, you see. Yeah, it's like 40, 50% air dashes out, but of course it's no, no bueno. The weak dash tech again, nice up air kills. Wow. It's kind of sick. Yeah, again, gets the spot dot, gets the uh, power shot there and tries to. Wow. As they try to pass her down, especially gets on the running shine there. Oh! <laughs> That would have been pretty funny. Jabs. Ooh, interception. Huge kill. That's he's dead. Oh he's not dead. Fox. Fox gaming. Ah. Unfortunate. There we go. GG's 3-1. 3-1 to McLeod. Did I win? You did, Peach. Well done. Uh, Mr. Hawkeye, so how do you choose different wave dash angles? Yeah, there are two modifiers. So there's so for the controls, there's down, left, right, up. Like there's there's four buttons, and then of course if you're holding up forward, you get up forward like in the, in between, and then there's two modifiers to kind of go between that angle. Oh, we're playing. All right. Gaming.
coffee's good now. It's crazy. Wow, don't get my... my get it. When it's 1-1, one, one, they update it, but... All right, I understand, I understand. All right, we got Kath and Kai now. This is always a pretty good set. Kai wins the vast majority, but Catherine sneaks it in, and a lot of them are really close. There was a small period where they were going pretty back and forth, actually. Uh, Catherine. Kai is up. Save. We've done it. We are gaming. All right, we'll make it. McLeod W. Uh. Ah, Jesus Christ. Okay, my touch. Ah. I don't know what's causing the crackling, but I'll try not to. What are you looking for? Like phone? A oh, head. Wait. Just, just a phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Uh. I'm not sure, Liam. Oh yeah, that. You got it. Is it that? Yeah, what the hell? Over next to the water bottle. Is that a phone? Your phone? Good to Hi, coffee. You played really well. Hold on. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know you wanted to run in chair, so I hit the L button. Yeah. I have to get better at power shooting and drills. Oh, I'm lazy. Yeah, it was weird. There was a session like three weeks ago where you power shielded everything, and I was like, well, this matchup definitely no longer feels doable. <laughs> and today you did not power shield many things. Yeah, I've been a bit, bit lax with going for it. I need to get back into it. That was a good session to remind me that I'm like, wow, this would be a lot easier if I remembered yeah. how to power shield drill. <laughs> and I'm like, it's hard. Uh, it's, I don't know. You you felt uh, like uh, you weren't even comparable to how you play in the session as well. So yeah, was significantly better. I'm that a was, mercurial gamer. That was probably. Downs. I think that was the yeah that was the most composed you've played and honestly like the cleanest I've hit. Not even of the time like you you played me like you just drop stuff. Here and yeah, there, but you actually, you actually strung a few things together, like edge guard, like I can get back for free, it was good. I have to think harder when I play you, because a lot of stuff doesn't really work, or it's like, yeah. it only works if I'm guessing right, and it's like, yeah. Like, I don't think Kath is like, that much worse than you, but she doesn't have the defense, yeah. or it's like, yeah, I just don't know. You can hit Kath, and it's like, oh, okay, this feels cool. alright. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I I, I played Quetz like a couple weeks back, and I was like, oh, Quetz is really hard to hit because he's way more evasive. But when you hit him, you can hit him. Yeah. Whereas like I can hit you, but you want me to hit you, so it's like, oh, yeah, this is. Rough. When I play Fox, I'm just like, no I don't know. If I play not to get hit, then I can't hit the Fox. Yeah. I have to yeah. I have to play in a way to let the Fox hit me, and like, in order to put myself in positions where I can hit the Fox. So. I don't know. This one is interesting. This one's a really good one. Because plausibly, Kath could get fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Or second. Fourth or second. No, I mean, like, PR rank. Oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, if she, yeah. if she beats Kai, Kai has, what, one win on me? Yeah, and so does Kath. And so does Kath. And then Kath has a win on Ruben. I think Kai beat Ruben as well. So it's their head to head. That's kind yeah. Of one, you know? I think Kai is, like, two or three up on that. Yeah. Head -head. There's a few tournaments there, though. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I guess if Kath wins the next two or three. That's a cool, that's actually an interesting thought I didn't think about. Who else can Kath beat? No one really. It's like Muscat myself, or... I guess you should get another win on me. I don't, I don't see her beating Muscat at that one. Muscat in particular is, yeah. they've obviously played thousands and one thousands of games together. Muscat's also just extremely good versus Peach. Yeah. Like, extremely, extremely good. <laughs> Jeff says, when did Kath beat Ruben? Every time they play? Yeah. I can't remember, I, I literally, oh no, actually, I kind of remember the last time Ruben beat Kath, and it was like, nine months ago. Nice. It was like, I think it was 2-1, and I think it was like a close game three, and lost game one with Falcon, and then one with Samus. Oh, this would have been the, the pre-ban tournament, where yeah. you made us play best of threes because of ban. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know if, I think she accidentally slid off. Oh, that spot actually there, like, I, I, I figured out, like, rolling, tech rolling into the, like, inside of the platform versus Falco is really good, because if he dares you, he gets hit. 
And I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. Oh, I tried to slide off. You did a weird thing where you kind of floated out and hit me the other way. Yep, that, that's how you beat it. That's yeah. great. Well, Kath beat it by down smashing me because I... Double jump land and then down smash? Yeah. That's the other way you beat it. Too. I need a double jump line more as well. I couldn't tell. Did you do a double jump, cancel out of shield, turn around, grab? Or is that like not a thing you do? Uh, you might have just dropped shield, turn around, grab, but like. I think it was. I think that's what it was just drop shield. Okay. But yeah. I, I have like double jump land for like. If I get like my, up, my shield up smash or something, I do that. Right. But I think and that's what it was just uh, drop shield. Yeah, this one's not looking pretty good. Kai versus Floaties is Guys, yeah. very controlled. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, I always like the way he plays. Yeah, Kai, when he's on, feels really, really hard to hit and hits like a truck. Kai, when he's not on, gets like blended and falls off the side of the stage. <laughs> so it's a... Uh... I've definitely seen a couple of sets that you two have played that went like, he clutched it out to go to game five and then got like three or four stuff up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> as soon as, uh, like, well, like playing against Kai, it feels like as soon as something goes wrong, everything, like, I've won. Right. Yeah. Like, it's like as soon as you get, like, if, if it's close and something goes wrong, that's it, that's all I need. But it's like, is that, whoa, oh my whoa, god. What was I that? don't know what that, I think it's touching this, so I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna okay. try not to touch that. But yeah, it's like, if something doesn't go wrong, then it's, uh, then I'm, I'm struggling. Tish is correct, only 2 0 against this tournament. Love it. I hate this counter pick. I hate this counter pick. So much. Battle Catherine, build. please just chain grab the spacey. Please. Please. If, yeah, please. Just, just do it. It's pretty good. I'm surprised she doesn't get a FOD. Yeah, I'm also surprised she doesn't get a FOD. I honestly, my counter picks in this matchup are Dreamland and, um, Dreamland and oh. FD. I feel like I would love Dreamland as Falcon. All I would do is run away. Well, you want bracket. Why didn't you hit exclamation mark bracket? Stupid dong dong. Because if he rides bracket with several exclamation marks, he will then type like something from bracket for him. Yeah, but I don't suck on FD enough to make it worse than every other save. It's still better than every other save. Yeah, it was weird. I've been pl I played like Muscat, but Muscat and Sock recently. I like, played Sock yesterday, and I'm like, Yoshi's do be feeling better than FD right now. I <laughs> and I'm just like. I just don't know. I keep trying to like practice it with Peaches because I'm like, I need Yoshi's to work if I want to win yeah. a set against the Peach, but it doesn't work for me. I'm just like, I don't play that close. I don't scrap like that. Yeah, I used, uh, I was like, the second set versus Muscat last week when I was like coming back into it, I used Yoshi's as my second counter pick. I was just like, my brain was just like, go Yoshi's. And I'm like, yep. okay, we'll try it. I remember then, Goody kind of picked Battlefield against you instead of Yoshi's yeah. ones because it's just like. Uh, I don't know, maybe we should give more thought on actually going in Yoshi's. I mean, where you're good and where is technically correct, different things. And also, yeah. where is technically correct is an evolving composition. Yep. Damn, that was nasty, actually. Can't finish it though. Big dash though. Not a big dash though. Yeah, Lex, you're actually nasty on FOD. You, playing you is the reason I don't take Dark on FOD anymore. I'm just like, I don't like this stage. There's too many platforms. It's so hard to hit. Some random garbage happens, like I take 80. Dude. I remember Ginger saying he thought Dark, uh, Battlefield was Dark's best stage against Fox. Just the verticality. I think that's a that, that's a pretty common opinion of um, Dark's. I don't think, yeah, I, I don't mind really have a real counter pick in that matchup. I don't like Pokemon for Fox. Yeah. Just um, no top flight means I can't <laughs> transition <laughs> between them. But it's on the Falco. Sometimes they are like committed to the ground, like lasers and reading my approach, and it's like, yeah. I would like a top flight, please. Yeah, I think, I think, well, Falco Fox just seems like play dependent for the majority of like who you're playing and like what yeah. stage you feel comfortable on. You just I had a small victory. The last time I played Kai, he counterpicked to FD, and then the next yeah. set he banned, <laughs> he banned it. it. Yeah. Nice, nice. You grabbed him and he died? Yeah. That's good. He was making it work. That was... Yeah. Like, he got a big early opening. Kath almost brought it back. But, like, honestly, I think, like, Kath, like, brings it back a little bit and then gets reversed again. Right. Which has been the, like, the story of this, where it's like, alright, Kai got 80%, drops it, takes 30, kills Kath. So, Kath's just gonna need to get a bit more, or get a bit more, a few more openings. 
I don't know. Ooh. Nice, nice. Good reactions there. I don't know why not. Oh, good choice there. Oh God. That's like 70. It's big. That's an excellent question, Lactus PM. I uh, don't know. Yeah. Why is the cast that dash right? Kath taking the lead for the first time in the set is pretty solid stock. This is Kath really needed to see that. Nice. Yeah, no, as soon as like I start taking leads in this set and I start feeling comfortable and I like high like sort of feels like he starts second guessing himself, I'm just like out of one. Ooh, good laser out of the corner there. I think a big difference, it's just a lot easier to open up cast as well. Right, I'm just like... Ooh, like she makes some really smart neutral decisions, but there's just some like technical spots where it's just... You get like a proper laser. Ooh, good patience there. I don't love his rising down now though. Yeah, what is it be? Yeah, question. <laughs> like her, like, got, it's, it's all, pro not much, to yeah. be honest. Ooh, nice. Her going down to, to try and hit him. Yeah. I don't think I don't think it has to do that. I'm gonna be honest. I think Cass staying on ledge and praying you do something to punish like rising down. Oh, I needed to stay a little bit lower. Cass knew that too. It's just good vibes. Cass just likes the battlefield vibes. Like all of New York. <laughs> Look. Oh, that could have been a shield grab too. That was a really greedy high there. But big us right now. Does she cover it? Nah. But greedy off the ledge, and that's it. Oh, I lied completely. I am blind. He clutches it here. That's so sad. It is a little bit sad. He's looking like he might. Oh, big shield poke. Might be it. Cast really should Good struggle to get down here. But the shield poke on the mohawk again. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> yeah? No, nah, that's not it. Falco living a one oh, that was an right excellent time. fair, but not enough. It's gonna up B, needs to find a way to cover the angle. Doesn't. Oh, that was just some big spaghetti right at the end of there. Katha pulling out of her ass a little bit. Oh my Whoa. god, happened again. What is it? Alright, we're gonna figure out what it is. It's not this. It's not this. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's that. I don't know. Something on cables. I don't know. Ow, I hope my ears. Ready? Go. Yeah, McLeod, stop eating the mic. I literally can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it might be the mask on the mic, actually. That would make sense. I'll move it out. <laughs> Big 90. Cat likes the stage. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I, I, I see Kai doing the best on here. like stadium. Maybe Dreamline. Yeah. I know he likes Dreamline. I think the the punish gap on Dreamline is too big. <laughs> God bless Lax. I don't even know how to respond to that one. I'm gonna be honest. You just, I just got God. That's my box. He's destroying. <laughs> 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 Very appreciative. That could be your box winning Big Cheese. Three. That's alright, if I were ever to use it again, I would make a new housing with better buttons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> I'm like, I look. <laughs> Definitely, if I ever get it off you, I'm probably gonna figure out how to replace the buttons. Probably not too hard, I imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Should learn how to do it. Seems relevant. Oh, good big slap. Big slap out of the laser. Actually, really smart there. But can't get the tech chase, unfortunately. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Big. Dead? No, he's not. Oh my, oh my god. god she Wispy. Hit it. I mean, uh, Randall, not Wispy. Oh, she got that. Oh, that was an amazing air dodge. Yeah, yeah. Needs to SDI down and. In, in. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think it hit anything. No, I. Oh. oh. Okay. We figured it out. <laughs> we 
figured out what the the. the I think I'm is. needed with lemons. You needed the lemons? Yeah, play again. Go and uh, do that. Easy, enjoy. I want to see. I want to see you again in Winter's Honor. Uh, in uh, in Grands. It is. I want to see it. And that's a 3-1 to Kai. Pretty standard set. Catherine with... Again, it looks like Catherine could have done it, but not quite. And we got... I guess we could do Kai and me now. Kai, do you want to do us? Ah. Man, I really wish Muscat was here. I'm sad. Or Davin. Davin. Yeah, well, I'm lazy, Lax, and you're going to just gonna have to deal with it. I'll update it now for you. Yeah, it has. What do you mean? Um, have you played Caleb yet? Oh no, you wouldn't have. You have Caleb next, Kath. Um, hmm? Oh, oops, I just put Coffee Rex into beating me, which absolutely did not happen. Yeah? Yeah, we can wait, that's fine. Oh, you can go now if you want. Do you want to do them now? Yeah, we can do them now, that's fine. All right, you guys have got me for a little bit longer. Look at you, lucky chat. Get to listen to my beautiful grating voice for another 10 or so minutes. Caleb has beaten, uh, Caleb has lost, uh, Caleb lost to Coffee Rex 3 0, and then I beat Coffee Rex 3 1, and then losers is occurring now. This is Caleb versus Catherine. Uh, Caleb. Look at these beautiful gamer faces. I'm just happy to see a gamer. He was very nice. On, on the stream. Oh. Why does this sound so unbalanced? I have no idea. Interesting. Save. We've done it. You're going to lose audio for a second. <sighs> That changed nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's just really like it's much louder in the in the, the right th in oh. the right, and then it is the left. Oh, you're right, actually. I didn't. I don't know why. Maybe I touched something on my little mixer, but here we go. Do you want to hit swap player info and zero zero for me? Yeah. Thank you. Easy. Okay. <laughs> McLeod W. God damn it. <laughs> of course. Yeah, fair enough. Look, I I, I was gonna put Kaiser L when I when I, when you got wow. on, but I decided against it. I was like, wow. that's one step too far. I mean, look, I approve. I do approve. <laughs> yeah, looking at the um, looking at the uh the mixer that I got on this like on the stream setup, right? Yep. It seems fine, but I don't know, like. It doesn't seem like anything over there is like balanced wrong, right? Oh, okay, sure. But for some reason, it's just very. I don't How know. Caleb sees the game? I'm not convinced he does. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, the way Caleb sees the game, I wouldn't know. That's the problem. It's like I actually have no. What's the word? I have no like bar of measurement for how Caleb sees the game. And that's that's the hardest part. Oh, big three up throws into now. Oh. How's the audio, by the way, folks? Do I need to turn the microphones or the game up or down? Let me know. Oh, that's why. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. 
You got it? Yeah, I, fi I fixed it. I fixed it. Oh, I see. That's why. I saw that, and I saw it like that on yeah, balance. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I wonder yeah. if that's we're, the thing, we're good but now. I don't we're know good now. I don't know enough to make a comment on this. Yeah, okay. I was like, what's going on? Okay. Caleb really wants this set, though, and he can do it for sure. The audio should be balanced now. Like, it shouldn't be louder in one ear now. Look, I like the oh. set a lot, actually. Oh, um, this is Loser's quarters, by the way, if you can change that. This is Retribution? Yeah, sure. This is Retribution oh for uh, when I played Caleb. I played him and uh, he asked me for netplay and I obliged. Quarters? Yeah. yeah. And I obliged and then I pulled a stitch two games in a row and he quit out of the second game. Ouch. And now he just lost two stocks to a stitch. Like an idiot. He's like, I don't want to play against stitch. And I'm like... <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> that was bad to watch. I enjoy like watching that. God, I love when the stitch is the captain Falcon. <laughs> One oh two captain. Oh god. I'm so sick of Pokemon Stadium. I just hate it, like every matchup, yeah. Oh my god, Caleb. Ahead of us, Bob. Caleb! Oh, oh. no! <laughs> Caleb, no! He just literally needed to double jump near yeah. that and then it was over. Kath with the uh, most greedy DI on the planet. Should have been her death. Yeah. I need Caleb to hit another knee. Ooh. Alright, good back guys. The, oh my god, yeah. I that, that knee in place when uh, when Peaches and Shield is so hard to deal with. I actually hate it. It catches the nair out, catches the wave dash forward. You have to start kinda just like hold your position, but it doesn't that doesn't feel good either. Oh, oh big knee. Well, he's doesn't going quite for it. Get no. it. The fob angles are not calibrated. Yeah. This is a fob diff. Yeah, that was a fob side beam. Caleb has me cheering nice. for him in this set, and that was a really good, like, semi-patient knee, where he, like, went in, baited it, and then went for the knee. The Definitely see is, the improvement. The one thing that I've learned growing up, right? Yep. The singular thing. That is, um, that is, like, I don't know, not like a sign of maturity, but it's something that um, is really nice to keep in the back of your mind. When you feel, you know, anxious as a person, unsure of you, like trying to perform in anything, right? Yep. If there's one thing that you should keep in mind is that everyone wants you to succeed. Yeah. Everyone wants you to succeed. Like, because, and if they don't, then they're like... They're not worth considering. Yeah. Well. Yeah, right? If, you, if they don't want you to succeed, then it's like, maybe you don't want to be friends with them, yeah. or maybe you don't want to, like, associate with them or whatever. But if you keep it in the back of your mind that literally everyone in this room wants to see you, like perform well, succeed at whatever you're doing, or just like, you know, do your job if you're like me who's a like floor staff, right? Yep. Everyone wants to just like be here and have a good time and see you happy. And so if you keep that in the back of your mind, then you kinda have Ooh. a reason to be happy. Because everyone else wants you to be. Actually that's a I, I, that's actually a really cute way to think about it. I yeah. like Alright, Caleb, Ooh. with an opportunity here. Needs to get a little bit more aggressive with covering the ledge, but... He's not dying for it, and that's what matters. Now, Lax is of the opinion, if you're again in bracket, I want you to lose very much so. Yeah, but the thing is, I, I said succeed, not win. Yeah. Because because there can only be one winner, right? In, in all things, there can only be one winner, usually. Um, but, you know, performing and being happy and like everyone wanting you to be happy is uh, very different. Yeah, if someone plays like Shin and I win, I'm like, that's kind of sad. Yeah, yeah, hey, right? And like, we all feel that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh no. And it's 2 0. Okay, that game could have gone very different with uh, some unfortunate moments. So we'll yeah, that. that's the thing. I, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I really um, was betting on Caleb for that game because it started off so good. Yeah, I think running it back to stadium is the right idea. Yeah. It's a good idea. Unfortunately, he's going to have to deal with two games of FOD. But honestly, like, playing him... Oh. I don't love FOD. I love FOD. <laughs> I love Falco <laughs> from FOD. It's so good. I hate... I was talking about it uh, earlier when oh. um, you were playing, and I'm like, I don't like taking Falco to FOD anymore. I, let's go Dreamland. I like Dreamland yeah. more. I think Falco's hitbox is just too good. Yeah, and the way he moves around platforms is just so annoying. He gets, his combos get so good off them as well. Yeah, look, Tish is saying in chat, growing pains on the fog. Yeah. Next Tony, Caleb's got it. 
Oh. He decided not to use my uh, my perfect OEM I gifted him about a year uh -huh. ago. When I say gifted, he definitely bought it off me, but I'll, it was it was a. Uh, it did him well. Yeah. And now he's moved on. Ooh, big tech chase. Good job, Kath. Uh, that up air, you can't be fading back as you do that up air, because then you just lose a whole lot. But good, good 77. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was, didn't that was do a good way. Knee. Oh, Aww. a freebie. At last, given to Caleb, finally. Um, some people in chat are saying that playing with a pop is very different. I don't think it's that yeah. different, it's just, um... That's some small things, right? Yeah. So, I mean, if you've got it set up properly, then it's, like, pretty good. And it's, like, pretty easy to use, right? Um, the way I see it Ooh. is, like, it functions like one of the, like, Type 1 controllers with, like, the, the dead zone, like, the pod, the good pod. Yep. With, like, the dead zone kind of removed where you, like, you get good dashbacks and stuff. It plays like it, you're playing on one of those controllers, but with the added benefit of being on a Type 3 stick, so you actually get pivots. Yep. That's the way I play on it, because when I moved from my uh, conch that was like the T1 um, for Falco, um, moving to Fob wasn't too hard. It was just uh, I had to get used to using a controller that could actually do the full resolution of dash dancing left and right, like in the small, in the small kind of... Um, in the small ranges, right? Um, Ooh, but, song. you know, on that controller, I couldn't do divots at all. Because, like, it just... You wouldn't be able to get the right value. Conch is controller. Sure for controller. I'm sure you could find a buyer for your controller, on your... Um, God, that feels weird to say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Lonely Mikage. Conch is a controller. Um, and there's three types of sticks in GameCube controllers that were released. You can you can Google it. There's a Smash Bros. thread about it going over all the different types. Oh, hey, I got it. I was, I'm happy oh, with that. That's it. That's it. 3-0. We had... I love how we've had multiple people come into this chat and be so confused about what conch is. And I'm just like, <laughs> it's just the correct way to say controller. It's so easy. It's like one syllable. Controller. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason the connector on Jesus, yeah. There's a there's an uh, issue with the connector the here. Yeah, there's just an issue with the um connector with one of these stream headsets. That when you move it it's a bit you know a bit cringe. Alright, so it is me and McCloudy up next in winners finals. Huge. Sully G9, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. Make sure to follow to see some more South Australian Smash action. Appreciate having you here. Appreciate it even more if you followed the stream. All right, McLeod. Not giving him the W right now. <laughs> okay, okay, Lex, hang on. We'll, we'll hit him with it. Um, so it looks like he's port one. Okay. Cringe. All right, McCla uh, Lax, I'm gonna get him. Alright, Lex, watch this.
God. All right, don't touch that. All right, game three. Kaiser uh, in a in a well. Can he get out? Can Kai get out of the well? All right, chat. Question: If musket was a wiggle, what Which color, color would he be? be? Important question. It's yeah. more important than the match. I don't want to taint the field with my my response. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, if well-known player musket, yellow, yellow purple, purple. Oh. that's kind of well. That's what we said. He needs to wake up. That's literally true. But then we, we discovered he does need to wake up like Jack. So. Okay. Yeah. That. Literally. Wow. That's surprising because uh, I think you said yellow and I said purple. Yeah. So. But then I agreed because I realized he did need to wake up. Yeah. He's literally he's currently napping. He didn't come because he's asleep. Musket yeah. is the new level. In in contention for one and two in SA and in the Wiggles. Oh, probably the best. Melee the best player. Wiggle? Is, that's that's blasphemy. Uh, yeah. Best Wiggle. Man, crashing on. Nice. I love I love to see Peaches do that deck. It always looks so cool to me. Uh, fun to do too. Which one? Nice, the double jump line grab. Oh yeah, yeah, out of shield. Or just like, when they're shielding, you jump up there and oh, right, double jump yeah. line. Yeah. And then uh, throw them. Alright, let's go Kai. Take us to a game five. I mean, yeah. you're currently at a game three, but we'd love to see a game five. We'd love to see more melee, score. that's what we always say. Well, not me, but... How do you forget that about the Wiggles? That's like their thing. It's like forgetting the Power Rangers are colored. You know? Power Rangers are colored? Yeah. If Mustard was a Power Ranger, which color would he be? God. He'd be, um... Well, I haven't watched Power Rangers since we did one. I awesome. think he'd be black. Black, He always yeah. wears black. He does. I was thinking black... It depends on if, if the Black Ranger is... I'm sure there's a Ranger out there that's all about, like... Who's who's the the Quantum Ranger? The one who wants more power? That's not... That's not something. The one who wants more power? Yeah, Virgil. You don't know your... No, I don't that's know. That's the one thing I know about Power Rangers, is that Virgil's voice actor is also a Power oh, Ranger. Okay. And he plays the Quantum Ranger. Nice. Yeah, and in Battle for the Grid, uh, the Power Rangers fighting game, uh, he has a line where he says, I need more Quantum Power. That's pretty sick. I need more Quantum Power. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, mean, I, I watched the original few series as a child. And the Green Ranger is the one who goes off alone and is kind of evil, but he wants more power. Yeah. I don't know. Because he... I almost wanted to say that's Musket, but he's not quiet because he doesn't want to go up alone necessarily. But he's, he's, like, right he's the one that's like secretly malicious. Yeah, is that oh, one yeah, like yeah. that. That's the Green Ranger. I think he's a friend, but then he's an enemy, and then he's a friend again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that. I guess that it works on that axis. But one that's like more like less of a loner type, but still like that. Yeah, I don't know. Rip. Oat. <laughs> Oat Ranger. All right. Now Kath and I have to play, which is very what, sad. What kind of milk must it be? Ooh. There we go. Catherine, Catherine versus the Peach Slayer. He's already slayed one Peach this far. Can he do it again? Uh, all right. So it's gonna be. I guess this is losers semis coming up. Uh, Catherine versus. Hello. All right. Uh, if 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 musket was a wiggle, what color would he be? Um. Hmm. Definitely red. Red. Definitely red. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Because I went with no purple. question. I went with purple. Coffee went with yellow, and then we agreed it was purple because he's not here today because he's asleep. Oh no, much that like, does make sense. Much yes, like the yes, purple yes. Wiggle. Oh. 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 I just moved my. Wait, are you all good over there? Is all good over there? Oh, okay, yeah. Hurry, must. Yeah, red. There's some variety oh, there. Hang on. Red, what? Whoa. Uh oh.
Uh. Oh, still a bit of like a. Oh, there we go. There's a bit of a. Eh. All right, I think we're back in it. What do you mean there's a scuffed ass? Look at the look at the production value. What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, are you serious? Brother, everything is yeah, what is a crisp 60 frames and you're telling me this is scuffed? Yeah, what about, wasn't there that recent like official tournament that was... Yeah, Big House had a worse stream than this. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> got the layout, the player camps, Literally. The logos, the graphics, the raw gameplay. The you got that get dog battle, in it. You get the battle chest. Oh my choose. god, the graphics. Oh my. Holy smoke. You can play as the panda, you can play as the bear, you can be some other carry, it don't matter. You can be the fox, <laughs> you can be the bird. Thank you, Nya. Appreciate the fanfare. Surely this is warm ups. Surely I don't know. that could be ups. any strat. I mean, maybe. We are yet to see. You know, it's not called the Peach Slayer for nothing. <laughs> No, it's all good. I, I could, I'd really be bringing like my entire computer, audio, capture, cameras, cables. For the love of the game. Every month. Sometimes more than ev like once a month. Just because I'd be like, you know what? You know what's sick? Is making broadcasts about video games. Yeah. That's my fucking shit. Did you ever watch that? Um. All right. This is going to show my age a bit. Yeah. Right, I'm I just turned 28, October oh 6th, right? So oh I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big, I'm a big... Settle down there, old timer. Yeah, so, um, yeah, you can have a CRT now. Come, come pick one up. Anyway, so, so, do y'all remember this little-known Australian TV show called Amazing? It was like A-star amazing. I think I'm too young for that. Okay. So it was obviously aimed at kids, right? But it was like... You know, it was like that classic, like, schools competing on television type of Australian format, right? Ooh. And it'd be like a team of two from a different school, and they'd go into, like, this obstacle course maze to find, like, letters and stuff. But a component of it was you had to, like, oh. play in, a, like, a video game section as well. So, like, it'd be Mario Kart or Tetris or whatever. Okay. And ever since then, I've been like, you know what's cool? Showing video games as a broadcast. So we have amazing to thank for this production right now. Pretty much. Pretty much. Thank you, Amazing. Shout outs to Amazing. It's, oh, it's so. You know, this is amazing. Catherine's Punish game right now. Yeah, wow. Not letting him back. That was sick. Not letting him oh. back. Very well played. Very well played. Hmm. Keeping it competitive. Gets the knockdown. Ooh, the plus frames. The tick grab. You know what I really Another like? Another tick grab. <laughs> you know what I really like is, um, that, like, so many of us. Oh, uh, fucking. It's. It's this cable. I'm sorry, folks. It's just getting twisted. It's the cable. Uh -oh. Yeah, that's, oh. that's nasty. I'm so wow. That is fucking nasty. We hmm. Yeah, I blame the ultimate guys for for throwing these headsets around. <laughs> yeah. Breaking <laughs> the chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. No. Um. On the real, we want what we want. Uh, yeah. So what I was saying is like, what I really like is like how long everyone's been playing here because we all kind of started at similar times. Um, and Coffee's got an interesting melee experience as well because he was here in the old school days and, and then, then he stopped returned. and then he returned. I believe he's a bit older than me as well. So Yeah, he's about my brother's age. He went to the high school with my brother. Oh, makes sense. Yeah. Make a sense. Uh, okay. he's, yeah. He would definitely know amazing. Well, I would think so. Would yeah. Think. Yeah, he's a little older. Not not by much, just a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna have to make an amazing comeback. Oh, well, it's Yoshi's. Like, Peach is gonna die. Peach is gonna die at like 60 here. But what if Catherine never gets touched? That's true, it's about to happen. She's gonna do a down smash and win the game. Ready? Yeah. She, looking for it. She's looking for it. She's definitely looking for it. Oh, no, nah, not quite. Some pussy's action. Push him off. Just give him the lady, the princess push. I think it's cool. Nah, instead of seeing a down smash, we're actually seeing some amazing footsies here. And a two stock on Yoshi's versus Fox. You don't always get to see that, but when you do, it doesn't well, feel good if you're Fox McCloud. No, it doesn't. 
going to stadium for the next game. Probably, uh, well, definitely. God. Oh. Yeah, it's because I'm touching the fucking cable. I'm so sorry. Favorite stage in this matchup by far. Where he gets to run and shoot the gun, but also kill Ellie. Oh, my God. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Yeah, that cable is, uh, messed up. Let me get a new one of those. Coffee starting to cook a little bit, but you know, looking like he might have singed the broth. He's off stage and fighting his way back in. Okay. Ooh. Important, important that he gets that stock now. 65 is pretty high percent because I mean, look, dash attack pops up for a nice confirm, but. Off stage, yeah, he's done for. He's done so. Alright. He can pull it off. Okay. I can't not just bad. not touch the cable, guys. Do you understand? I can't just, like, be perfectly still. Oh, oh you know? no. Yeah, it's, it's awful. Oh no. <gasps> Roll scouts it. <sighs> Fucking. I'm so sad about that. Oh, just move that out of the way. Oh my god, the tick grab with a turn. Let's go using all these these terms. Well, I mean, before when you did that was actually just it a was tick a tick grab. grab. It was a tick grab, yeah. And you don't really see. Well, you, you kind of see it in this game, but it's fake, sort of, more or less. Well, you're yeah, doing, because you're doing negative frames into it. Yeah, um, most jabs are very minus on shield in this game, so you can just shield grab the jab. Yeah, whereas. Each could actually do a real tick throw. Mm. Well, I guess you can do you can do it with shine and grab. Oh my god, Coffee Rex just lasering in the face of adversary. Yeah, lasering in the face of death. Oh my god, great, oh. kind of really cool neutral there from Coffee. Um, like he, he jumped back from the platform and then aimed the drill towards the center of the stage, which was really nice. Could have led into something big, but he didn't get anything off of it. Yeah, Samus is the most like Urian in this game. That is the Urian character for sure. Yeah, I guess she's got electricity and shoulder, ch shoulder tackles. Yeah, exactly. Got a projectile. That's kind of like a Urian fireball. Yeah, exactly. The only thing that Falcon is like about Urian is his dash attack, whereas Samus has projectiles. So. Yeah, and she's also kind of like. I don't know, I think she's like pokes him. You know, kind of pokes him. Falcon is not Dan. Get out of town. Is Dan? Falcon is not Dan. Falcon is... How is he Dan? Falcon is Makoto. We all know it. Yeah? We all know that Falcon is Makoto. Yeah, momentum. Alright, two way to Kath movement. right now. The Peach proving a bit of a challenge. I mean, even non third strike, I don't see how Dan really... I'm not sure what about him. Back to stadium. Dudley. Oh. I mean, maybe Dudley sort of is Falcon, but I don't think Kinda. quite like it. He's not like a mix-up machine or anything. Because, like you know, at the end of the day, uh, Falcon's kind of like a high-speed grappler, which yeah. is what Makoto is. He's a grappler. Um, really good start from Coffee right now, by the way. Um, I think Dudley is probably closer to... I mean, out of any third strike character like Marth, right? Yeah? I would say out of any third strike character like Marth. Just got, like, uh, great frame dot. Or, like, maybe even, like, Sheik. Yeah. I don't know. It's more like, uh, maybe even more like Fox. No, yeah. I think Fox is the Yun. Fox is definitely Yun. Sure. That makes sense. Oh, my God. Coffee Rex is displaying some really good then. tech right now. Shun Li? Uh, maybe. Oh like no, Marth. yeah, I think I think Chun Li is Marth. Normals. Yeah, the I think Chun Li is secretly Marth. a grappler. Falco's not Chun. Jeff, you don't know what you're talking about. How is Falco Chun Li? What a, what's the what's the connection? I don't see the connection. Source is sided and it's like a crack pipe. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jeff is on right now. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think about Falco in, Falco's in like a Dirt Strike. 
Yeah, actually, Faku is a Kuma. He's got the air fireball, he's got the yeah. ground kick move. Yeah, you're right. Faku is a Kuma, is the glass cannon of the game, dies, dies really easily, but is ultimately super sick and super swag and you, is really fun to press buttons with. In fact, that's actually part of the reason I tried to play Faku for a bit. Ah, makes sense. Was like, was like a Kuma. Faku Rex, a completely different story in this game, though. Yeah, looking strong. Uh -oh. Watch out. The momentum shifter. Oh, oh, a bit of flubsies from Kath. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, good, good on her punishing that. Lax, Fargo is not Link in Soul Calibur 2 for GameCube. I can't comment on that. No. Just imagine. Imagine. No. No. Don't be silly. Yoshi Mitsu? What about Fargo is. I don't. I mean. Faka's not Yoshi. I'm familiar with Yoshi from Tekken, but I don't yeah. know how he... In Soul Calibur, should be similar. Oh, all right. Fighter, signs of life. Oh my god. All right, signs of life for Catherine. Yoshi's more like... I don't know, like Game & Watch or something. Or like Yoshi. Oh, shit. I did stop. Oh my god, guys. Dark and slow. Wait, Dark Peach Slayer. This whole cable situation is... Can you press... The button above the fader. Yep. That, uh, yep. 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 The button. The button. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. One. Well. Killick is like DK. Wait. Killick is the guy with the staff, isn't he? Soul Calibur, isn't that? that that's what they're talking about, right? I actually don't. I'm pretty sure. You're gonna hear. You're gonna hear the. Oh, excellent. Uh, yeah. Maxi is like Bayonetta. That's a Soul Calibur character, right? I'm, yeah, it is. I don't know, I'm not too familiar with Soul Calibur, so I can't really comment on what characters are like what. Is Jigglypuff like Kana? You play Kana, right? You're a Kana player. Regrettably. Regrettably. Damn. Oh. Catherine keeping it better. The clean, clean footsies there with the uptick. What about the... Uh, okay, what other characters is Puff like? Oh, okay, she's kind of like... Mm, I almost want to say 12, but that's not really true. Just because he's got kind of a weird air stuff. I want to say Puff is like Akuma in SF4. Yeah? Yeah. Jumps? Jumps, yes. What about like Akuma in SF2? Mm. Where he's like all about that, just throwing the fireball. Okay, this kind of dude. Mm. Just like you know, retreating in the air. I wish I knew. I really wish I knew. I'm pretty sure in that game, his air fireball is just like. Just, the characters can't beat it. Yeah, no, he's banned. <laughs> he's yeah. actual banned character in that game. Too good. Well, he just kind of plays. A, you, can, you can play him like very retreating, lame hairstyle. Very safe. Well, like, you know, like Zaki, you can't do anything. Puff is like Batman in Injustice for iPad. What about Batman in Injustice for Arcade? What about uh, what about 3DS Guile? 3DS? Oh, who, who's 3DS Guile? Actually, we we know it's we know it's Samus. <laughs> we know 3DS Samus. Who's the 3DS Able? <laughs> um, no, that might be Puff actually. No, definitely not. No. With a one-button full-screen Super 3DS Able. Oh, 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 he lives. Oh my god. We we all heard a, an exasperated no coming out from Coffee Rex because that would have been the set yeah, if he actually fell rough. off. A rough way for the Peach Slayer to go. See, I. Oh, just getting okay. slapped in the face. He has to live here. He yeah. has to live here. I believe Coffee can bring it to a game five, but he's got to not get yeah. CC down smash like that. Yeah. He's playing yeah. with fire right now. The floor is lava. Back air, not the best. He's Great call out from Catherine. Great call out from Catherine. Now he's got to be careful. He's, he's put himself in the corner though. <gasps> oh, box DI. Oh, he just oh! Goes oh, it's happening. 
It's happening. Coffee Rex yeah. about to bring it back. Up smash. He missed the up smash. Oh. He hits the up smash. There it is. He brings game it to five. Game, five. game 5. After almost just SDing. After wow. almost SDing. Brings it to a Game 5. Very, very Damn. good stuff. Looking like 3DS Gar right now. Because <laughs> he's pressing one button supers? <laughs> yeah, one button, one button, button flash kick? One button flash kick right there. Oh well, actually, God. Fox, that, that's a running with two button up, uh, flash kick. So I guess it's more like a <laughs> regular guy. Like SF6 guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. SF6 guy. Have you seen him? He, he can hit the uh, EFF6 beta. SF, SF6 beta. EX flash kick hits like a uh, round start. No way. Yeah. That's disgusting. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> I was excited for Street Fighter Five, uh, Street Fighter Six, but now maybe not. You maybe I'm ready with, uh, to. Because you start with a full meter for EX, so you can just do that. Around Fuck start. me. <laughs> maybe I'm ready to to give up on Street Fighter. I don't know. I mean, that is the beta, so maybe they'll change it. Maybe they'll buff it. Okay. It well, screen. Catherine's pick now. We wait to see. We go into back to fight, so and I like to see that. Tomorrow. Great stuff from Catherine, but until it isn't. Okay, trying to keep him in the corner. Coffee successfully navigates over the top. Yeah, right. the laser looks are coming out. The push. Thank you for the kind words, Barringer. Yeah. Saying that I do major level quality streams, but you know, SA be getting kinda, seven entrants at monthly. Kind of true. Oh my god! Oh my god! The sun assault. Yeah, look, people people be busy. I just do it because I want a I want a video game broadcast and I want my matches streamed. We're watching back later. Oh yeah. Oh, a bit too low there. coffee has got to keep his head in the game here though. Looking pretty similar to last game. You know, I want to fight Coffee in losers water. finals. I'm gonna say it. I, I want to fight Coffee Rex in losers finals. I don't want to play two more play peaches. <laughs> I don't want to play two more peaches. Damn. I want to play a fox in there. I need to play some fox. So you're saying it's your bias. Oh, there we go. Finally, the call out on going straight to ledge, but Fox McCloud, baby. That Meta Knight recovery. Yeah. Oh, great dash attack. That's it. That oh, is it. it. Almost wasn't it. It's crazy. You Spot know, you can, you, you can hit that angle on a, on a, a controller? stick. You can on hit that angle on a stick. That's all, I'm, that's all I'm saying. You can hit that angle on a stick. Man, if he was fobbing it up, he would have loved. Lived, lived, laughed, loved. <laughs> he would have continued to live, laugh, and love <laughs> into fob. infinity. Live, laugh, fob. All right, That's we're, all we're, we're dropping some frames. We're, we're back, though, folks. All right. Just waiting for it. Yeah, waiting for it, and then goes for it. I don't know. I really like the way Catherine's playing, though. Yeah. I, I can't lie. It's like, as much as I want to see Coffee Rex and lose his finals at this tournament, Catherine's playing very nice. And, you know, we've gone back to FOD for a second game. So the odds are she's just going to get one of those. The respawn back at the strongest attack in Australian Smash. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think a on that move is kind of nuts. It's not, not not even intangibility. It's it's a... Invincibility. It's a... What would it be? Is it, is it int, so in if it's int, it'd be inv. 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 The galim. Grounded, oh. The grounded, actionable... It's oh, just, no, it's just... It's just inv. No, it's just a... Yeah, I guess it's just inv. Yeah, yeah, or grounded actionable. Or it's actionable, so it's, it's like and it's and einv, and einv, yeah. or gainv. Yeah, I like gainv because it's got no ledge. Ooh, punished. Wow, uh, wow, it's it's happening. Punished. Okay, all right, coffee makes it back. He has another chance to take the stock while he's on the magic present. Yeah. Check out my games, bro. Oh no, that's not You're how you. Out. That's not how you make it to the losers finals. No. Go straight. Oh, he lets it rip. God damn. He's alive. <laughs> the cheater Goes angle. It, yeah. Yosh is calling it in chat. Alright, we have a we have a very small chance of Coffee Rex bringing it back here. He could do. It's but not he's over. He's gonna face another game. Yeah. Another it, game back air right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, game back air. Here it comes. Let's pop oh. Gainvers. Oh! He's gonna get down smash. Don't. Don't hit the ceiling fan. Don't let the shit hit the fan here, Coffee Rex. <gasps> he could have taken it. Uh-oh. Oh my god, this is happening. Coffee Rex feeling the pressure of McCloud yelling at him. Yeah. Oh my god! <gasps> That's not going to kill its fog. Wow. Uh, Catherine just needs to clutch it out just with one attack. <gasps> the and there it is. 
There it is. Oh my God. <laughs> well played, everyone. Thank you for an enta entertaining Catherine, set. Catherine popping off for us. All right. Well, you know, it's it's losers finals now, I believe, which is all right. Yeah, which is me. More Peach Gaming. Yeah, which is me. Coming at you. All right, here we go. I think, what is it? There's, there was seven entrants this tournament, three Peach players. Yep. It, that's they're the gaining, way it be. They're gaining ground. That's the way it be. Because I was playing Falco when picking a box, but then I had the realization that I'd picked the only non-grappler in a game full of grapplers. And I was like, I don't want to do be in that position. <laughs> <laughs> I need to think about a different character. Was a very close set actually. Came all the way down to that last stock, game five. That's what you like to see because a lot of the other sets this tournament have been 3 0s. Even if there's been some close games, they've been 3 0s. So it's nice to see some a little bit more competitive matches. Uh, but yeah, losers finals now. Playing for, th well, the loser of this gets third, I guess. Uh, competitors both doing star jumps off camera right now. And. Uh, I guess that's how they're striking, I don't know. I just have to take my word for it. There we go. Du, 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 du. All right. So, these two have been, have been uh, had some real competitive sets in the past, like on paper, Kai's the stronger player, right? But uh, even so, I think Catherine might have... I actually don't remember if she's actually ever beaten him, but she's certainly come close, if not actually beaten him, which is exciting. So it's like to, it's good to see them rematch again. Close match. And at least in Kai's perspective, even though he did say he didn't want to play another Peach, uh, if he does win, he'll be playing another Peach in the Grand Finals. So it's good in that sense for him. Um, you know, he's warming up against the same character. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see, Catherine, a bit of a different beast than McLeod. Yep. Definitely, probably Peach's highest concentration. In terms of per capita SA players, there's quite a few, because even, even there says, currently I'm playing Peach, I might end up switching, switching characters. That's possible. But McLeod's obviously pretty straight as best Peach, I guess. Uh, and then Catherine plays Peach as well. But there's the three of us. There's Will D as well when he stands up. Uh, he plays Peach. Yeah. And then uh, I guess beyond that, there aren't, there aren't any other like Peach mains. But uh, of course. Ooh. It's sad. Of course, Musket used to play Peach before switching to Fox. And will still occasionally play Peach. Oh my god, good luck. Good thing that was a warm up game. Otherwise, Catherine might have won that, won that game with that. Pure RNG. Um, yeah, Catherine gets very hype for RNG. Especially Peach player, I guess. I don't know. It's fun. She, Peach's got some fun mechanics that you don't get to play with otherwise if you're playing uh, melee. Like, they're in the game. Uh, it's, the cable's still kind of messed up. So, uh, oh. Yeah, I have, I have yeah, like, you gotta, like, not touch the cable. Yeah, Otherwise, the it, cable. there we go. I think you're... You, I don't even actually know if you What am I doing? Up, whatever. Can you hear me? Maybe. Uh, I can. I can think I can hear you. Press 1. If press 1 hear, if you can uh, hear me, Cloud. Yeah. Yeah, I must also play some of the PM characters as well, for sure. There you go, 1. Excellent. You can hear Thank him. you. Good to see uh, all these lovely faces in chat for this Losers Finals. Excellent, yeah. you've updated, it's so smart. Yeah, probably should update the uh, the view, actually. To, uh... Yeah, right, top, F1. One. F1. F1. Alright, there we go, that's better. There, there we, go. we go, you get a bit, a bit of a better view, if you're a spectator now. Um, there you go. Kai, 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 3-1. That was winners. Yeah, this winners. is Losers Finals. Losers Finals, yeah. Uh, has Catherine oh. beaten him in, in the past? Little Stitch? Yeah, a few times. There I think go. she's got two wins this season, I want to say. Maybe one. Yeah. What I was going to say is that the Peach is uh, kind of neat because you get to see some mechanics that you otherwise wouldn't yeah. uh, with other characters. Items. Items. You get to see float. One. Obviously, float is pretty unique. But yeah, items as well. And item catching and throwing and all yep. that stuff. Just neat. Those here are this matchup. 
The gun is too oppressive. But I will say, when I, I played Quetz with Falco, and that man loves turn ups in the matchup. I was like, wow, you can use these? That's crazy. And I know yeah. one. McCloudian? Is that you? <laughs> that is my, my Twitch name. Wow. Doxed. Absolutely doxed. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, Lack. Ooh, big dash attack. Oh, that jab. I always go for it, never works. So actually, it works like 20% of the time, and that justifies me going for it every time. Yeah, yeah so Ooh, smart! Oh my god, that was the cleanest opening I've that seen. That was pretty good, yeah. She knew when that down smash was going to end. Yeah. I mean, she set up the second one with the first. It's what? like poetry. It what a bait. Oh, good float. She needs to go high, yeah. Ooh. But one edge guard cleans it up. Cleans it. Covers everything. Much of anything. She just needs Ooh, to... Big full smash. I think she lived there, actually. Try keeping it consistently right now. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah it's... It looks like a bit of an uphill battle for Cad. Feeling the pain wonder. of the short range shine there. It'll be pretty precise. I don't know why she keeps letting us go to Battlefield. Stage just feels too big and like, I don't know. It's because she uh, she thinks the up B for the space oh, out sure. gets worse. <laughs> yeah, I she hasn't covered open. high once, however. Oh, but there you she go. Covered it, they covered it every did. option I think you'll find. That uh, was pretty close to every option. Let's go, Cap. Gotta get a big stock though. <laughs> the 1%? Chase, there. but doesn't get enough, and that up is going to seal it. Uh -oh. Alright, you're going to change the scores instead of me, so yeah. that doesn't happen. Great, Kaiser up 1-0. to zero. She's probably going to go to the um, the purple stage. One of the two purple stages. Never mind. Yeah, she goes. She went back here until she won in the first set. Oh, big down smash, dash back down smash. I need to get better at that, to be honest. Like, unironically. Like, yeah. I go for, like, power shield when they, like, land behind me and they don't reach me, and I could have just crashed and down them. Mm. So smart. Why do hard thing when simple thing do just as good? Exactly. Better in some cases. That is not the oh, she's trying to spin, she's trying to spin. Let, right. let the girl Ooh. spin, Kai, let the girl Kai's spin. Kai's showing her how this is how you really spin in this game. Spin downwards. Yeah. Well, it's still Ooh. spinning horizontally. That's true. And then she's putting in, putting Catherine to tumble when she's spinning. Nice, the back air cancel. Oh, uh, big get up attack. Is that it? It was. Covered oh, she covered every the edge. Option. Not properly, but like that attempt was made. Close. All right. Hmm. Looking kind of similar to the first game. This is. Well, this is. <laughs> This is Cass' opportunity. She has to take the, these SDs and turn them into something. Yeah. If and if she, she wants to win the set. Yeah. If she does, Kai does does go a little bit off, and Cass can definitely take advantage of that big nair, but has to go down there. So as soon as no, you hit she Falcon, she don't have to do nothing. As soon as you hit Falcon, Falcon has to go to stage. You have to be ready to drop down and just hit him. I'm not. What you're Falcon's talking about. Down. She just pressed down on the stick. <laughs> she sure did. There's not a single way Kai could have gotten out of that. Yeah, covered every option that I could see. Kai's just getting opened up by like really, yeah. Just Maybe the Peach players were right. Really simple, good spacing, and just biting a little bit too much. That'll be Cass' first game, 1-1. One, one. Nice. I'd reach over, but I'd implode everyone's eardrums. Yeah. Ah, I'll do it anyway. Gosh. Just because I felt like it. I don't uh, know what I did, but. Truly yeah. evil. <laughs> I wonder Yoshi's story. I like this stage. Nice and scrappy. Yeah. Smash players are bad enough at listening already. I wonder how. I don't think I'm helping the cause by the end of this stream. Man. Were you playing all Peach today, Liam? Uh, I did, yeah. Nice. I considered playing Darker against uh, Coffee, but yeah. I decided no. Yeah. Peach is definitely like the boss actually, character. If she, uh, if he, uh, if he, if I won a game, you he went to uh, he went to Pokemon Stadium. I was thinking about him. Okay, that was fair enough. Just because he yeah, wouldn't, so be, wouldn't even be probably the better option. Yeah. In terms of Ooh, I could have Maybe if I played Caleb, that'd be kind of funny. 
<laughs> it would be kind of funny. Oh, you didn't get to play Caleb today? I wanted to see you do that. No, I didn't. And after the tournament, we were both... I know, uh, I heard about the family story from Caleb. Yeah. <laughs> we were both We were both out of the tournament. He was sitting there practicing on his own. I walked up and said, hey, Caleb, would you like to play some games? And he turned to me and said, fuck you, and put me off. Uh, and then went back to solo practice. It was something like that. I'm sure Caleb would tell it slightly differently. He did, in fact, tell us slightly differently, but I like this interpretation. Yeah, it was something like that. I, I, I just love that interpretation so much, because the image in my mind is so much funnier than what Caleb told me, so I'm going to hold that. Yeah. Oh, big downside. Yeah, huge. He's really... Yeah, these just, like, early aerials, like, Kath has enough space to run back, and just yeah. murdering, <laughs> murdering yeah. Kai. The old bait and approach. The bait, bait All approach. he's got to do is, like, not hold all the way in, just, like, a little bit in. And then, suddenly, no down smash. Mm. Yeah. kind of hard. To be honest, Kath doesn't hasn't really shown a way to get openings that's not that. So uh would be a nice. big adaptation from Kai. Yeah, literally it's just looking for big whiff punishes. I like the I like the low near there. Uh, that's it. That's you have to down and away SDI that. It's crazy that for sure. Yeah. It shouldn't kill, but it does. It's nuts. It's huge. Huge I definitely like threw this game five times. Please, de oh, okay, so it works. Every option. Oh, that, that gave me a heart attack, Catherine. Targo should just die. Oh, that's not gonna grab the ledge, and he's, she's dead. Good recognition from Kai. You, she had to, uh, she had to up be back, like play backwards. That's what that would be. All right. Kai's uh, winning his counter pick. She's now gonna we get go to one of the purple non stages. counter pick. She's gonna go to one of the purple stages. It's either the Yoshi's or Fod. I think we're gonna see Yoshi's again. Really? Oh, we go Fod. Purple stage. Oh, there he is. Man, Catherine. Ooh, that's Got a Kath! <laughs> Woo! That's a big win for Catherine. Catherine, a big ass smile on her face. She knows. She knows she's good. She at loves to again. see it. Loves to see it. <laughs> Can't hold it in. Yeah, it's the clutch factor. Well, I guess Catherine has two ways to get big yeah. openings in this matchup. I like She's got whiff punishes and she's got Kai flying oh off God. the other side of the stage. Oh. Oh. oh, big slaps. Big slaps. Slap, slap, slap. Oh. Good patience, good patience, good patience. Get up attack. Almost work. Oh, Ooh. big now. She's, he's going to go high. You have to cover that, that, that jump once. Damn. Once? What? Or you can just not cover it at all and like wait till the last game and then cover tilt. it. Forward tilt is sometimes so inspired. Wait, is it, are they on the? Can you hit the swap? Play info. Oh yeah, that's not. It's a little. Uh, uh, middle, it's middle, big one. That one. Save. Yeah, there we nice. go. All right, Thank you, Nia. Around. There we go. It's true. Right, I need your take on it actually before this game gets too heated. Mm -hmm. uh, what color wiggles? What color wiggle would Musket be? That's a good question. Let me think of it. I don't remember the personalities of each wiggle. There's been a couple of different answers. But I can. Uh, I see him. The first thing that comes to mind is like Musket is the purple purple wiggle. That's what I'm saying. Fellow purple Musket enjoy it. Yeah, it, it feels just feel right. Oh. Also, you know, wake up Jeff, wake up Muscat, why is he there? Yeah, he's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, where the hell is Muscat? He's uh, literally, he's napping. Wait, he's actually sleeping he's again? Napping. Catherine said he's a sleepy boy, and he's napping. Literally both of the last two cheese leaks, Muscat has been napping. But wake up, you know he's Muscat. not napping. If I won on Wednesday and I shit on him, he ain't napping today. That's all I'm saying. Damn. Good thing he was napping then too. Are we going to see Clutch Run right now? It's looking like it. No, she's looking good. I don't know. The thing Darker about classic. Kai needs to not, like, I don't know. Just needs to play a little bit further away. That was good. Didn't, didn't all in on that dare. Doesn't die. Doesn't really get anything out of it either. Ow, big right. dragon. The fourth one hits. That's what you need. Neither of these players playing particularly crazy, I will say. No, there's both a good sense of, like, shit. Yeah. Right. Nervousness. I will say Catherine's spacing and composure, like there, like Kai's giving it to her, but like it's not free, and she, she has to like move at the right times and put herself in the right spot, which is good. Oh, big up air! Somehow that's an up air. 
Oh, it goes to the down smash. Everyone, everyone knew that down smash was coming. That three shines was so greedy. But edge guard not quite there. Damn. If Kai only did his signature there, it would have worked. <laughs> Kai holding all in on that dare again, killing him once again. Catherine's just like, you know what, I'm going to run away, and if you do an aerial and you travel the full distance of the aerial, I'm going to hit you for it. Kai's going to be like, so yeah, I'll give you that. If he did the ledge dash, turn right up, so that works. Mm. That's a sick move. That is a sick move. I mean, he's, he's, it's the, it's the guy's look. He's so good. Definitely is. Oh. Oh. See, just like another, just holding all the way in with the areas. You just don't have to get Peach those. You just don't, don't have to. I mean, just do slightly less. What if she hits you then? <laughs> it is, but that forces her to try and hit you like there, then there again. She's just moving back. She shouldn't get a free hit if she moves back. I don't know. Oh, good lasers, good lasers, good lasers. Just. Really sketchy movement as well, whereas like, just get stuck, get sash attacks, get shield grabbed, get third. Luckily that works out. Done. Roll. I still would favor Kyra in this. Uh, oh, that up here almost hit. I don't know, you still favoring him now? Him with Kai should play lead. more like Kai when Kai's playing good. True. Like, <laughs> also more like you when you're playing good. Because you also do the exact same thing Kai's doing when you're playing bad. Kai, as in uh, Lux, who was asked the question. Oh, okay. I think he's talking nah, to me for a good one. I do not have enough familiarity with the Liam Falker to make it fun. Well, just know that, that it's godlike. Oh, uh, that's, that's, so that's where it was in my it. head. I'm just like, godlike. That's all I know. Yeah. I don't know how it's godlike. I don't know what it does that's godlike, but just I'm just is. like, it's just crazy. Ooh, could have been big opening there. Kai doing a lot of nothing, and then overextending. Kai doing a lot of nothing, and then overextending. Kai killing himself. Damn, that ain't the Kai I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh, Kai, oh. big move, get punished, grab ledge, but it's not enough, yeah. I, I also recognized too late, so I would have grabbed ledge and made the exact same mistake. But you could have dropped ledge and tried to bear, but it, not pretty either way. Yeah. Oh, that was a power shield right there. I, I see the shiny shield button every time. I see the Falcon. Oh no, that needed to be. Oh, big get up attack. Please go down. No, oh, that, that's just enough. Damn. You'll take that trade as Catherine for sure. My heart. I just want to get the game closer Ooh. to over. Some patient SA players right here. They don't give up their, their invincibility. Hell no. Let's go, Kath. The jabs. Has to Ooh, every stay little composed. trade, it's going to make feel pretty good for Catherine. All right, so my plan and my set, if Kath wins this, I'm just going to do moves, but not do them all the way in. And then she's going to try and punish him. Yeah, that's the Kai. He did the oh. ledge dash up to He did. I got, nice. got hit for more than he got out of it. But well, but the hit itself worked. It did. Oh. Big dare, big double right. dare. I was expecting get up attack. Kai expecting, I don't know. That was That's, that's the set, I guess. Clutchrin. Well done, Catherine. Three, two. Clutchrin. And we'll have Kath and myself in Grand Finals. Peach, Grand Finals. Watch out for the Cacklin boys. Mute now, or forever hold your peace. Mute, mute. You get on mute, I think. All right. Damn, Catherine Grand Finals. I mean, it's a seven man local, but still. That's still pretty pog, you know? There's a period of time where that would not, you know, be be the standard. That would not happen, but would not, not even be possible. Uh, but here it is. Uh, grand finals. Hope you're all ready for Peach v Peach. Best of five grand finals. Probably not going to be a reset, to be perfectly honest. I would be shocked, uh, but that would be kind of sick. And Catherine, man, if Catherine won, that'd be nuts. I don't see it, but you know. Doing the jumping jacks, there we go. McLeod doing it too, but it, he's off screen, unfortunately. 
Uh, there we go. All right. Da -da. All right. They're gonna have a quick, quick break, quick uh, bathroom break, just uh, before everything happens. And then we're gonna see some peach on peach action. Which, you know, as a relatively new Peach uh, player, at least I currently am, I don't understand how that matchup works, but I, I believe it's something about you want to be a bit higher than the opponent, generally, if you're coming down with a move, if you're both kind of floating, you generally want to be above the opponent. Uh, other than that, you know, I'm still figuring it out. Turnip's probably pretty good, but... Damn, Catherine with the zero to death on Mr. Enemy Stand over there. We're practicing a ledge dashes, I like to see it. Damn! Yeah, she got she ledge dashed. I think the Galimp might have been negative 13, but. Come out of that. I probably, that's probably even more than that. Damn. Damn. Maybe I should play Moth. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I should go back to Tarko. Who knows? None of that's important. What matters is this grand finals. Catherine's beaten McLeod before. When has he beaten McLeod before? I don't know. How long ago was that? I was definitely. I remember when he first when he first joined the scene. She surely beat him around then. I don't know. I guess I haven't been paying that close attention. I didn't go to all the events. But that'd be kind of a couple of months ago. That's kind of funny. Was he playing Peach in the dinner? That's kind of wild, if true. Damn! Can you imagine if she if she wins this? Then that's like, you know, one musket didn't make it, but the other musket came home. Came home with a prize. Can you imagine? All right. Yeah, I don't think. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't believe this is. I believe this to be some sort of Airwolves, folks. I think it's a legitimate match. But <laughs> what if it was? If it is, Catherine's up right now. Whoa! Uh, a convincing four stock. Game one. Man, Parker sucks. Tish Grandfather's death, that's crazy. That was cool to see. Because I, 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 most of the time I've been in this scene, I feel like there hasn't been too many like upsets or like, you know, it's been a lot of like, Good players win, you know, and the good players, you know, don't tend to, it doesn't tend to be a lot of new good players, but, you know, McLeod's here now and he's good. Catherine's son beat better and better players, it feels like. Just kind of nuts. Muffy's back in the scene. Yeah, this ditto works is, uh, I don't really know. don't really know. All I know is that you kind of probably want to be above the opponent. It's probably a better idea. Or at least like a little bit higher than them if you're both, uh, if you're both like floating with an arrow. That's like the one thing that I have any idea of. Right. Yeah, turnips seem pretty good. Cause Peach, I mean, she's not that far. She can't like punish herself for pulling the turnip too easily. And that she's close. Uh, I don't know, because Peach, you might just catch the stitch and throw it back. I like she's there by any matchup. But, uh, I think Peach is definitely a matchup that can that can actually kind of snowball. At least I've seen it kind of snowball. Which doesn't seem like it would, but... Because, like, McL they're both pretty, like, even percent right now, but if McLeod takes the first stock here, like, say, let's say he cleans it up with, like, one more random hit on like, Jordan Well, let's say Catherine takes the first stock now. 
like, she can get a couple of straight hits, and, like, it, it feels like it kind of snowballs. At least when I play it. But maybe that's because I'm not good. Or worse than the people playing against. Alright. True. True. It is going to be a slog, Mr. Beach player. Alright, sorry, tough player. I my mistake. Nice. The layered offense there. Setting up with the turn up, following up with the old forward there. Ooh! I like that. He kind of avoided the uh, snipe of the turn up and avoided her turn up. Right. Jabs. Jab seems like a pretty good option in this matchup. You can kind of like, it's a decent anti air. Really fast and can kind of link to the other options like the dash up there. Alright, forward air. Ooh, goes for the dash there. Let's make it. Yeah, McLeod, he is down. Alright, maybe Catherine just has the superior fundies. Or the superior mental, I don't know. Something about her. Something about her. There you go. McLeod a bit higher, higher up. Falls down with the Thorder and beats uh, Captain's Thorder. Alright, nice recognition there, grabbing the ledge. Very close competitive match. Only a 9% difference, which is, you know, not nothing at all. Oh, we've, uh. The stream's, the stream's frozen. Huh. Uh. I don't know where Kai is. He normally fix this. One second. Hmm. Looking kind of scary without the, the head poncho to fix things. Uh, maybe... Probably... Ah. I can do that, I can do that, I can do uh, that, but yeah, the game is, uh, I mean, you can still hear it happening. Yeah, the stream is frozen. Peach is winning. Let me see if I can find the bus. I could try unplugging and replugging things really nearly, but um, I don't know. I don't know about that one. Uh, let me see if I can contact him. Alright, update, update, for any gamers still in the chat. Uh, looks like we have to wait for Kai to get back, but Catherine did win game one. Catherine did win game one. So for all the Catherine fans, big pog. Big pog. Kai probably couldn't be too far away. Be in the vicinity, I would suggest. Tell you what, I'll just try and, if I can try and relay the info. 
Yeah, this cable's probably not long enough to go over there. Or is it? No, it's not quite long enough for me to go stand over there and just tell you what's happening on screen. That would be exciting. Uh, huh. I guess we can amuse ourselves, right? Yeah, it probably is a cup trial issue. I, I think you could, earlier he uh, he played with some cables and did something. I just, you know, I'm not probably not confident enough to go in there and mess with this setup when I don't know what all of it is, does and uh, what's all safe or not. Oh, he's returned. Hey. Yeah. Unfortunate. All right, he's returned. There we go. All right, I can't touch it until this game's over. Oh, okay. Because they'll lose signal. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Wait. that's the unfortunate truth. Well, there you go. Well, game one, Kath, we do know that Catherine won. This game, we don't know much. All right, I wish I could stand over there, but this cable's not quite long that's enough. That's a fucking shame, actually. Yeah. That's a damn shame. Unfortunately, this cable's not quite long enough for me to go stand nah, over don't, there. No, don't, don't try. I don't and even try. Uh, <laughs> I would not even try. And uh, give the play-by-play. -play. Hmm. Let me go get an update on the stock count for all those inquisitive gamers. Yeah, because what the issue is, is like, I have to, um, nah, this is a capture card issue, this isn't, oh, this isn't like an issue with like, okay, two stocks each apparently, basically what's happened is, like the capture card that I'm using, it's, n it's not one of the ulti guys at all, it's just, it's my own. Two to one? Okay. That sounds like it might be one to one now. Oh, now it's two to one. Never mind. So you, so you know what's funny? I would actually have a method here of like, um, <laughs> I actually would have a method here of like, getting some crazy sick other angle. But um, basically, what I still think that it would interrupt the stream, unfortunately, which is a shame. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with my um, my USBs today, but yeah, it's a damn shame. So. Did this happen in the first game? All right, who won? All right, I just have to do, after you lose signal for a second. All right. Yeah, it's 1-1. One, one. I'll lose audio for a second. Going to found the dreams. There we go. We might be back in the business. Game is very loud, apparently. How about now? How are those audio levels? How's that, folks? That should be all right Whoa. now. Well, yeah. Much better. It's including that. Uh, ba da ba da ba da ba. Ba 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 ba. Everything's loud. Wasn't that good? Okay. Hang you on. can adjust on it's your end if everything. Yeah, it's because. I had my Windows settings changed. Uh, That's what happened. Good old Windows. Good old Windows. Always changing, updating. Never even asked for it. All right, that should be fine for you now, folks. We shouldn't be like peaking too hard either. Like, whoa, yeah, it's just the old cable having issues right now. Alright. Alright. 
Cloud with a pretty solid lead at, at the moment. But you know how it is with these Peach Dittos, they're volatile. Any, any little straight hit? Alright. I can probably use this headset now. I can probably use this headset like this now, and we should be fine. Apologies for all the little technical hiccups we're having today. I'm not sure why they're occurring. Can't but personally, I blame Ultimate. But what about that gameplay? Like? The gameplay is fine now. Pretty That's fun. the thing. Anyway. So I'm literally having to hold onto the cable connected to my ears with my hands like coiled up. It's really funny. So can you believe we have Peach Peach Grand Finals, folks? I can't. I can believe it. I mean, when half of the field almost was Peach Peach. Well, that's true, yeah. I just can't believe it because, you know, I lost. Crazy. Catherine gotten really good lately. Definitely coming to all the events, so. Yeah. You know, you gotta have a game plan when you're fighting her. Take your names. Mm. And you like, you can see these two, close. they're playing pretty closely together as well. Yeah, not too far off. Not too shabby. Although this game's probably fairly McLeod favored at this point. This stock lead. Oh my god, these turnips and these down smashes. Uh, I'm so sad I'm not in finals, bro. I'm so sad I didn't get to play coffee. Oh my god. Rip. It's alright. Oh, the ping pong. I definitely don't feel as bad on the inside anymore, but you know. Yeah. Oh my god, get cold out. That was swag. Slap. So which, um... What color wiggle would Urian be? <laughs> uh, blue. He's Anthony. Yeah? Absolutely. He's got that dog in him? <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Urian the type of dude to film a promotional spot for the St. Vincent de Paul Society. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't, but... You don't, you know, you don't, I, know, you I, don't know Vinny's? I feel, Vinny's? I, I feel it, but I don't know it. Oh my god. I don't understand anything about this ditto. I don't know. I don't like. Sometimes you think you know something about melee, and then, oh my god, what is happening? I think how many players really know this matchup? Not many, hey. Can't be that many. Can't be that many. Oh my god. There aren't that many Peach players outside of this team, and certainly not that many Peach players that have ever been really good. Okay. Well, lemons, you'll enjoy this, I think. Yeah. Toph asked recently. Is there more? Or is the lasers is versus it, human beings? Yeah, is there more people in the world or lasers shot? In, so, in when Falco I. Falco lasers shot. Yeah, Falco lasers shot in all of Melee's lifetime or people currently alive today. Mm -hmm. uh, my instinct was humans alive today must have been must be larger. But then I, I was reading people through people's reasoning. It does seem to make sense that actually it could be. So I had the opposite. I had the opposite experience. I instantly thought lasers at first, but then thinking about the maths, I actually am inclined to say that it's humans because, like, 7.7 .7 billion is quite a lot. Of, it's quite a lot right. of number. Right. There are some numbers of like, if you expect like X, like 10,000 Falco players shooting like so many lasers per matches, how many matches it actually kind of works out to be a pretty big number. I don't know. Yeah, because. Look, the way I see this, Stuff. right? There's probably less than 7,000 people played like playing Falco with like short hop lasers right. in the world, right? Like probably across all time. All the time. But there's probably less than 7,000 people in the world doing short hop laser with Falco across all time. There's less than 7,000. 7,000? I would say so. Really? Yeah. Across 20 years? 7,000. Yeah, it's like a decent number of people play this game. I don't think, I don't even think 5,000 people actively play this game. What, today? Yeah. I don't think 5,000 people actively play this game. Really? Like on Slippy and stuff. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't know the stats. I just, I just don't know the stats. Because my, yeah, my gut reaction was human beings, because 8 billion or whatever was a lot. But, uh, you yeah, know, I just, I just remember seeing some maps that looked fairly, like, reasonable. Like, well, hmm, maybe it could be. Anyway, so, one, I don't think there's more than 7,000 people playing Falco with short hop laser. Well, let's say there are 7,000 Falco players across 20 years. Okay, yep. Great. If they all, okay, How even if they, they even if they all shot 1 million lasers over their lifetime, it would still, that would, that's only 7 billion. Right. That's only 7 billion. Right. right? So you need some more Falco players, probably. 
Almost certainly. Seven, e even seven if there was 7,000 Falco players shooting short hop lasers. 7 million is too much, for sure. Because I mean, let's say... I mean, let's say you play like you have a, uh, like a week. Every every week you have one gaming night, of three hours, and you have like what, like thirty games or something. I don't, know, I don't know how that works out. Let's say you get thirty games a week of Falco, which is maybe average, maybe not. I don't know. How many lasers per game do you think there would be? Like a hundred? You you can max out at a hundred. I would say. I would say like in an, in one game you would max out at a hundred, right? Like, yeah. but you don't, right? You never actually What's shoot like the 100. Average game length, like four minutes. No, the yeah, average game length is like two. Mm. Honestly, I think it depends on the matchup. Anyway, so what I'm saying is, one, I don't think there's even 7,000 short hop lasering Falcos in the world. Two, even if they all shot one million lasers, that's only seven billion, and there's 7.4 or 7.7 .7 billion. I think there are more Falco players than that across 20 years. I don't think so. I just don't. I just don't see it. I mean, if you also include like not just the dedicated people, but the people who just play, pick up the game, you know, because mainly uh, sold well, a GG's, lot of Well done to McLeod. Oh, well, wait a minute. Well done to McLeod. Wait a minute. Yay! Yay. I don't know, because like even if you think about the people who just like apparently mainly sold like seven million copies or something, or maybe a couple of million it, copies. It sold like twenty-one. You get copies. There's worldwide. twenty-five characters in the game, or like twenty-six. You, you know, one twenty-fifth of the players, but probably a little bit more. I think Falco is maybe slightly more popular, perhaps, than some other characters in terms of just casual player base. Mm. Uh, and then just you think of all the times they just press B on the other side of the stage. But it doesn't add up. The, yeah, like, th up. Do you think those people are going to shoot a million lasers in a lifetime? Probably not. No, right? but there's a lot of them. I don't think there's seven million copies mm. of the game. I don't know. They 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 uh, they're a part of the equation. Yeah, they are, but like I just don't see how like fiction alone. How many is that gonna be? <laughs> no, the real the real laser shooter is Zangazen. Yeah, that's the real laser shooters. I uh, look. I think we will never come to a conclusion on this. No, we but need the stats. But just know, like, you, it's based on your assumptions, and it's yeah. based on your assumptions that you have to make. You do have to make assumptions. I don't know. I think seven thousand is a low ball. Faco players, <laughs> I guess. Well, actually, I guess Falco players maybe. How many, what's can, the we, can we bring what's up the, the can we bring up the Zangazen Luigi kid set? Hang on. Oh yeah. I'm bringing this up. For the Ow. stream. Uh -oh. Ow, fuck's sake. You got too excited. Zangazen versus Luigi kid. Yeah. Let me let me see this shit. It's the one where he uh <laughs> he, did he walk off the stage in that one? I don't remember. Luigi it's, player. This is the worst shit ever. <laughs> it's actually the most. Shrooms. Wait, is it this one? Is it Luigi Kid? I feel like it's. I've definitely seen like a highlight reel of like. Is it this someone one? getting shot to like 200% and then killing Hang himself. Zeng is in late. Hang on. Just I'm finding this. I'm actually finding this. It's important. That is, that is some pretty broken. Let me see this. Twitter tech from Tove. Somebody, yeah, yeah, right. The the easiest farming of impressions yeah. of all time. The next level on the Lions versus Pokemon. But where do you fall in Here Lions we go. versus Pokemon? It is Zangazin versus G Money. Oh my god. Okay, that's it. Zangazin. It's a 20, 250 lasers in five minutes. How many minutes? How many, you're not, how many minutes? You're not going to shoot 250 lasers every game. How many minutes are there in 20 years? <laughs> You are not going to shoot 250 la lasers in but every Maybe game. if they were playing correctly, they would be. You would, you would not. What is your answer to the 8 billion people versus lasers? He I, th I think it's people. That was my, I, my gut feeling was lasers at first, and then I'm like, I think it's people. So my actually. gut feeling but was, it's based on assumptions. My gut feeling was people, and then I read some, I read some fairly convincing Twitter math that was like, mm, maybe it could be lasers. Do you know how much is a, like, do you know how much one billion is, bro? It's a lot, but the math, the, but the math, the assumptions they were making didn't seem that unreasonable to me, and the math they made seemed to work out. It's a lot. All right, I don't stream, know. Personally, I think, I think the Pokemon would win. All right, surely but, stream can hear this you know, too, because you only need one godlike Pokemon to win. Like, All right. No matter how many you have, we're bringing this one up. But oh, bring it up. We're bringing it. We're, we're bringing it up for the for the folks at home. I'll die on the lemons hill. <laughs> I'll die on the lemons hill. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can think about. Yeah, the fact that it's on Twitter doesn't make a difference, bro. Oh no. God, this stream quality. Hey. If it's if the math works out, it works out. It doesn't matter where you got it from. I guess. You could have Reddit math, and it would still be convincing. 
All right. All right, we're all going to enjoy this now. All right. We're nice. all going to enjoy this. Okay, this is this is the actual grand finals of Cheese League. Do you want to make it a bit bigger for the stream? No. No, yeah. they need to see us. Okay. You can watch, you guys, you can, go, you can go to YouTube, you got a computer. But we need it all synced up for the communal viewing experience. <laughs> you can watch it here. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it, Twitter, there's some mathematicians on Twitter, let's just say that. Look, look, like, I, like I'm standing by what I say, right? Mm -hmm. Which is, I don't think there's 7,000 Falco players who have ever done short hop lasers. Like, 7,000. Mm, it's a lot. 7,000. It's a lot. I guess when you divide like, it just down to Falco like players. Like, there's, there's only, like, maybe 200 tops melee players in Australia. Tops. Sure. Right? There's, and, like, the highest yeah. entrant tournaments in America. A lot of people play th Falco. They don't, they don't even get to 2,000 players, right? Mm. How many games do you think are played each day? Hmm? Oh, I mean, well, I with Slippy, it's going to be well, like higher lots, than, right? Higher than but, all. but still, like what I'm saying is Falco, like one of the most popular netplay characters. Well, yeah, but like what I'm saying is like I don't think there's a volume large enough of Falco yeah. across all of melee history. I think doing short hop laser. I think what and you're then, saying makes and, like, sense. And like playing enough to playing enough to shoot one million lasers in their lifetime each. Mm. Because that's still not even more than seven billion. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, what you're saying makes sense. I just don't know. The, I mean, we just don't know the numbers. Well, yeah, we obviously don't have the numbers. We'll never have the numbers because it's impossible to track. But mm. that's just the that's way what I Slippy's see it. for. Slippy yeah. two point will be able to track that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just enjoying some some good old fashioned short hop lasers. What? Slippy games versus non slippies. No. Yeah, I don't think so either. No. It's too many, too many years. It's been, it's too, it. yeah, it's been too long. Not yet. Even though that obviously the volume of games would be higher on Slippy, but no. And how many, like, how many years has Slippy been? Right. It's like, like five years or something, five six years. Okay, like kind of like, kind of like, competitive one v one games. Yeah. Yeah. No. I don't yeah, think not, so either. Not more Slippy games than total. Yeah, definitely in two years. Definitely, absolutely. Because it's heaps. There's so many games. Yeah. Just kind of nuts to think, because you would think then the player base would just get better and better and better at a faster rate. God, this is such a funny fucking set. Oh, my God. This set's so funny. Holy shit. This set is so fucking funny. Zangazen's just like, yeah, sick, I'm a stuck up versus Martha and FD. I'm not doing anything except laser. Until he misses a laser. and. Oh, this is so goes. bad to watch, too. Oh, the tick crap. This this is so bad to watch too. We're all this is how we're ending Cheese League. Right? Yeah. You don't get a choice. <laughs> well, you could always leave. Huh? Uh, you can unplug everything Ooh. there actually. Like Damn. just just like um, just take like that tripod off that TV, and but you can unplug everything that's in the TV and on the um, power board there. That's fine. Yeah, we're we're all watching this. This set this set sucks. <laughs> this set actually sucks so bad. Yeah. Not even I play like this on FD versus a Martha that can't punish. I don't know. Zangazen versus G Money, where he shoots 250 lasers. Because I'm using this as an example. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard about it, but I haven't seen the match. Um, okay, actually, who would win? Okay. Where do, you, uh, okay. where do you fall in the Billion Lions debate? The what? The, the Billion, Billion Lions, Lions versus okay, one what? of every Pokemon. <laughs> How many Pokemon are there? Uh, it's like 500 or something at this point. Six, 700 maybe, I think. I forget. It's something like 500 to 700, I think. Um, currently. So my, my position is Pokemon just because... How many Lions? A billion. One billion. So my position is Pokemon just because there are some Pokemon that in the lore at least... In the lore, at least, are like godlike. They're like godlike beings. Well, yeah. So, so it's like you only just, need like one. Yeah. All right. G to win. GG, Zang. He only won by one stock. That's fucked. Huh? Um. Okay. Yeah, but you only need one god. Yeah. That so you can can't Arceus, possibly can lose. Can Arceus just you're like? To understand how many one billion is. No, if you have a god, you can't lose. So what? What moves? Does you literally Arceus can't know? lose. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just talking about the lore. 
Yeah, but so so Arceus created all Pokemon. Did he create all animals? No. I'm talking oh, about like if, if you had like animals. If you made like Yahweh versus a billion lions, who do you think would win? What's that? What? Like the a, the Abrahamic God, Jesus versus a billion lions. Well, not Jesus, but well, Jesus, whatever. Yeah, but like you literally only need one like godlike being who's untouchable. It doesn't matter how many you have. You could have a, three times as many. You know, that's a lot. Three billion. That's a lot of lions. What if, what if so yeah, well, yeah. What's, what's like the, the bounds? Billion. What's the bounds of the arena? <laughs> <laughs> like is it just I feel like I feel like it doesn't matter the open scenario field. like God can't lose you know what I mean <laughs> that's a what's the word for that puritanical almost no it's like what's the word for that I mean they can't lose just because it's it's like it's an omniscient being it's God you know like like you know like could a billion lions defeat the sun you know like they can't because yeah how could the they sun. do it yeah it's like uh, to me it's the same sort of thing is there a Pokemon? Or that even can a, sun, a sun? I don't know. Maybe they can. Maybe there's a billion is enough to like blot out the sun. You know, like they could burn it up. I don't know. If that's possible. But. Can Pokemon create a sun? Maybe. I don't know. There's probably some Pokemon that's like. I pr I'm pretty sure there's some Pokemon in the lore that's apparently like as hot as a sun or whatever. Like they'd say, oh, it burns as hot as the sun. I'm sure there's mm. something like that. Which is like you know, because like yeah, I mean some people have made arguments about like Charizard can fly and breathe fire. But, like yeah, a billion is gonna overcome that eventually. He's gonna have to land. He's gonna get tired. Can't kill a billion lions on his own. He's gonna die. Um, Is there any Pokemon that can just? No, wait. But actually, you know what? Pokemon wins because Deoxys exists and Deoxys can levitate, and that's. But he he, he gets tired eventually, right? Deoxys Deo is in space. He's in space. I guess. Well, there you go. It's a stalemate. Like no, okay, folks. Nobody actually wins that. I think, I think because you have to kill Deoxys and he lives in space. The thing is, a billion is a lot, and they would they would win. Even, even a really powerful Pokemon is going to lose to a billion lions. There's no, but you just need one like godlike being or like yeah, because you have to you have to kill just, every Pokemon. They can't overcome. You have to kill every Pokemon. So yeah, and that's over. Yeah, I'm Team Pokemon on this one actually. Yeah. Well, you you can't shut up, shut up, Garfield. It's true though. Like what is what is one what is one billion lions gonna do about Deoxys that can be anywhere in space? Nothing. Yeah. So so one billion lions can't actually Couldn't kill every Pokemon. Couldn't That's actually, just confirmed. Actually, how many is a billion? Because a billion. I was gonna say Kyogre could, Kyogre could, could probably like you know cause a global flood or something. But I don't know if um, mm. can they all. So I guess they probably can't, aren't. But I don't. Obviously, obviously lions would drown. But like. How many is a billion? Could, would, it, would there be enough that they'd just be like stand above the waves? You know what I mean? Mm. And then, you know, eventually yeah. Kyogre will probably lose because a billion is a ton. But I don't, I don't know about the, the circumference of the earth, a billion lions, how that factors Yeah, Lax is right here. You can't, you can't actually beat Relicanthus lions because you can't reach the bottom of the fucking ocean. No, it's not one billion of Pokemon. It's one of every Pokemon. Versus and a billion lions. Yeah, one of every Pokemon versus a billion lions. And not and one of every Pokemon will not God, a billion lions beats a lot of stuff. Yeah, it will beat most of the Pokemon at but almost not all, all of them. them. Like e e yeah, even like Charizard or something he flies up there, breathes fire, eventually he's gonna come down, he's gonna die. Well, like, yeah, you know, there's just a tidal right. wave of lions. Well there's no hope. But I'm glad we got to the bottom of that one. You need yeah, you have one godlike being that just actually just can't be touched. There's like it's a hundred zero matchup. Yeah. It doesn't matter how many you, you stack lines you stack up, then you know, it's over. Yeah. Let, At least I mean, going look, by some lore, but you know, in game Pokemon, you know, obviously I think of lines would probably that win is actually the they truth. They just sit there and do moves. And, and I'm so happy turns. that we got to the bottom of that. Yeah. Um. And folks, it's time for us. Who to would end win? Who would win? One of every Pokemon or one billion Falco lasers? I have. Okay. I, I have to actually host you off, folks, because I can't keep waffling on and okay. keeping people here. So, how many? We are going to go to Dreamhack Rotterdam, folks. What about one billion lions shooting lasers, Falco lasers? <laughs> That's <laughs> the worst question ever. <laughs> All right, we are out of here. I'm just going to host you off to BTS Smash because you know how it be. Just right. keep watching. Keep watching Smash. Yeah. You know you know where to go. Um, but a better question is, who would win? One billion. Yeah, one billion, one billion does, does have an amazing matchup spread. You're who right. Would, who would um? Yeah, who would actually win? One billion Twitch chatters or a three minute ad break? All right. Ooh. Good night. Good night, everyone. Have a good time. I'll see you next time. It's been real. Um. <laughs> we got him, boys. All right. Peace out, y'all. Have a good night. Oh.